بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيد الخلق أجمعين uh, Today is the sixth lecture of approach to mammography and the third lecture in the evaluation of mammographic views and optimizing diagnostic imaging. I hope by today we complete this uh, yani section of image quality. Okay. We went through the mammographic views in the previous two lectures. And today we are going to concentrate into the diagnostic image quality. Huh? Samia. Hey, was... Can you tell me what is wrong with uh, this image? Um, inadequate. Uh, there is uh, arrow. Bilateral. There is arrow. Oh. There is arrow. Just tell me about that arrow. That is it. Go um arrow pointing to what? Toward the nipple. Are you sure this is a nipple? Uh point to it toward the lucent lesion. Uh lucent C. Uh with the pointing pointing toward this area. Is it opaque or lucent? This is opaque. Okay, pointing to this. So what is this? Uh, this is the uh, uh, focal asymmetry. Okay. Okay. Uh, others. Sarah. Yes, this is the nibble, but it's, it is not in profile. Okay, uh, are you sure it is a nipple? Well, it's most likely, but it is. Yes, uh, I need excellent, to... excellent, excellent. I, it is I'm most just... likely. It is a most likely the nipple. Yes, this is the this is the answer. This is most likely the nipple. Point is not in profile. Progress. Progress. Mm -hmm. How you can evaluate it? What does it support? The suggestion of being a nipple. Based on what you analyze it as a nipple. So if, uh, based on the location, number one, okay. Based on? Uh, on what? Location, number one. Location, excellent. Location. Excellent. Okay. Uh -huh. And there is, there is very, very regional lucency. This lucency uh -huh. indicates uh -huh. the area around the yes. Excellent. And, and, uh, yes. Uh -huh. and I cannot see the nipples in profile. Yes. So yes, we like cannot see the nipple in place. It is the location, mm -hmm. yani close to the area of the nipple, okay? And the surrounding, it is circumscribed and smooth laterally with surrounding halo and flattened and indistinct medially. You see, this is going most with a nipple, okay. Samia. Hey, boss. Uh, what about this one? Uh, this is uh, also most probably nibble, nibble, um, uh, inverted. Did you hear what mm -hmm. we described in the first case? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, uh, this um at expected location of the nibble surrounded expected by lucent C. yes expected lo location mm -hmm. uh, surrounded by lucent C. Mm -hmm. 
But did you hear me? That I said, the lucency, the nipple, smooth laterally, and the surrounding lucency is laterally, uh, but indistinct medially, or the inner portion of which, the outer portion, because it's surrounding with air, it will be loosened. What about this here? And we could not see the nipple. Here, is it smooth and sharply defined laterally and surrounding by air? Laterally? No, no not surrounded by air. Okay. So, yes, the medial, the inner portion is, is, is more defined than outer portion. And what about this? This is the... What, could it be? Mm. Uh -huh. what does it represent? It represents uh, part of the nipple. Yes. You mean this is part of the nipple and this is part? And what about this area? This is a fat. Fat. There is fat within the nipple? No. No. The nipple devoid of fat. Mm -hmm. uh, if uh, the nipple is inverted, uh, mm -hmm. the fat with the breast... Uh, يعني anterior and posterior لها ممكن نشوفه how projected. You can, uh, how you can analyze it? How you will be sure? Mm. How أعمل mm. another projection أعمل direction لني بال out. ما عندي فكرة والله يا بس. Another projection يا You have to see the other projection, the other view. Huh? It's important to see the other view. That is the other view. Mm -hmm. This is now the... Is... Hmm? Now Ras. Are you a boss? Aha, uh -huh. continue. The third image. Uh -huh. Do you agree with Samia? This is a nipple. Uh, according did you, to what you said. Did you earlier, attend? Did you attend the discussion yes. of the first image? Uh, I came late, Sarah, but I saw the Sarah first describe one. It. Numbered one. Uh, huh? We said that we said that the lucent halo uh, is uh, surrounding the nipple should be surrounding the nipple from the lateral sides, uh, ah, excluding yeah. the medial side. So uh -huh. uh, in the other image, I think uh, this is not the nipple. Yes, excellent. Why? Thank you so much. Uh, because of the uh, because that the lucency does not surround the uh, the nipple. Because from I the could figure. see I could see the nipple I could first. See the nipple. Yeah. This is the nipple, the and there is another part. another opacity seen posteriorly. Yes. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what could it represent? Uh, it could represent a focal asymmetry. Okay. Or uh, a lesion. A lesion. Yes. It could represent even the asymmetry is a lesion. Yes. It's okay. At this mm -hmm. level, I'll accept from you to say a lesion. Okay. Until we, uh, we go to the lecture of uh, uh, asymmetries and mass and Mammographic abnormality, after that, I will not accept broad term, terms. Okay. But level, I accept from you, you can say a lesion. Yes, mm -hmm. that is a lesion. Uh, a space occupying lesion within the breast. How you confer this is a space occupying lesion? I will order another projection. Now you have the other projections. Where is the nipple? The nipple is facing downwards. Yes. Yes. And where is it? Part of it. And Part a location, of it is the location of the lesion where in relation to the nipple? 
uh, um, superior to the nipple. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes. that is the lesions confirmed where on ultrasound. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So this reflects Ferris. It reflects the importance of two view. Mm -hmm. and Yani, instead of going and doing this and doing that, if we are not sure this is a nipple, how we can solve this problem? And sometimes we go to ultrasound to make sure. Uh -huh. To make sure that uh, that uh, there is a, a, a lesion and the... The malposition of the nipple is the most common hmm. mammographic error. It's okay, it's the most common. Uh, and as you know, as in this case, we might be doubtful. Is it a lesion? Is it a nipple? Is it? And sometimes we might go and repeat the, the image or go for ultrasound and yeah, and take a lot of time to sort it out. Okay, consume a lot of time. So how we can sort it out? All these, yani what is the good practice to make use of time and efforts and all this by doing what? By using what? By using what, Sarah? The nipple marker is very good. Yes. yes. We said before, if we use a nipple marker, you see, that is the excellent uh, practice to use a nipple marker or good practice. It will distinguish the breast tissue uh, from the nipple and avoid misinterpretations as an inverted nipple or rolled nipple or a retro areolar mass or vice versa, or and therefore no need to uh, repeat mammography to reduce the need for repetition of mammography and higher risk of radiations, reduce the recall in case of screening mammography. And also it will help uh, in uh, reliable landmark to lesion measurements from, for the nipple uh, and in triangulations of location of the abnormality. So it is a good practice to use the uh, nipple mark. So, this indicative what? Indication for what, Yasamia? From this case, what did you learn? So, before reading mammography, what, sh what shall you the, do? The most important huh? thing, we have, to, we have to comment on the technique. Yes, mm -hmm. to be sure the technique is adequate. Yes. So we have to assess the image for technical adequacy before mm. starting reading mammography for yes. both standard views, okay? Yes. Because usually we start by the standard view and because requesting other views and we have many uh, positioning criteria and other criteria for the CC view, position of the nipple, central profile, not to be exaggerated on medial or lateral sides, visualization of the pectoralis or retro glandular fat. If the muscle not included, go for the posterior nipple line, no skin fold or artifact, inclusion of other, no inclusion of other bodies. For the MLO, also well aligned or well positioned, the nipple, adequate amount of vectoralis uh, should be well seen in the upper half of the image. Its margin should be straight or convex. Lower edge should be at the level or below the posterior nipple line. The inframammary fold should be seen. Adequate coverage of lower quadrants, matching posterior nipple line. Adequate visualization of the posterior tissue, no sagging press or cutoff, no hanging press, no skin fold, no overlapping structures. This in general, this regarding only the positions. But, okay, can you comment on this image? Is it adequate or not? 
not adequate. Why? The inflammatory fold is not seen. Excellent, Walba. Excellent, so here. Here, the inflammatory fold are not open, so make it suboptimal image. And a lot of the skin folds in the epithelium. Yes, but not affecting too much. The yes. most affecting the image is the inflammatory fault. Okay, regarding this, is it adequate or not? It is adequate. Adequate. So it is good image. Yes. Okay. Is the nipple in profile? Who said adequate? Me, so here. Uh, the right nipple, not seen. And left nipple, can you see yeah, it? Then, yes, but huh? above, the left nipple is above, the left nipple above. Uh, okay, I could not see the posterior neither nipple. the right nor the left. Uh, is there skin thickening? Skin not uh, obvious, not so. Is it uh, adequate image? No. Regarding what? Yes, positioning wise is it's adequately okay. positioned. It is adequately positioned, but there is something criteria other than the positioning, which is what about this image? Why it looks like this? Why I could not see the nipple or the skin? Why it looks black, the image? That is a clue. Over exposure. And the, over factors, exposure. the factors. It is over, yes. It yeah. is over exposed. It is over exposed. Like diagnostic quality of this image. There is something wrong in this image. Tell me what is wrong. Mm -hmm. Artifact. There is Excellent. Artifact. Where the artifact? Uh, the, the, uh, the, posterior, uh, the posterior fat. Uh, over, suppose, at uh, the pectoral muscle. Pectoral muscle. Overlying the pectoralis. What about that artifact? This Which is artifact? hair, I think. I think hair artifact. Who is talking? To hair. Excellent, to hair. This is hair. Yes, it's a net like with loosenses, lines, curly lines, okay, opaque and loosens. This is hair. This is hair artifact. Yeah, so hair. This is hair. Remember it. Yes. So hair <laughs> discovered for us the artifacts in the hair artifacts. Okay, so artifact represent eleven uh, percent of image failure. How? Huh? What about this image? What is the difference between one and two? The difference between one and two? No difference? Magnification, two is magnified. No, no, the same, zoom view, same, same. Mm -hmm. Are the same, but, but regarding the Emmy quality, diagnostic Emmy quality. Oh, uh, two is underexposed. Two? Is it under exposed or you mean the, uh, the lower diagnostic quality in image two? Excellent. Yes. The optimum is image one and suboptimal is image two. So in which term? How how it is suboptimal? Just try, just try to concentrate and analyze. The resolution, the, the resolution <laughs> and uh, the sharpness. What? The sharpness of the image. Uh huh. Yeah, it is sharp. 
and yes. sharp in one. Yeah, yeah, resolution. The, the details are like that. More, more resolution. But in two, more, more, more contrast and more resolution. Yes, yes. Yes, and yes, good yes. resolution. And look for this here and here. What happened? Look for the breast tissue itself. What about the breast tissue? Uh -huh. It's underexposed. Two is not underexposed. underexposed. Not underexposed. The resolution. The resolution. The resolution. Are the same, but the look here. This is more detailed. This is more detailed image. More resolution. More contrasting. This. Mm. And separation of tissues here. Is Compression. much better than this. Yes, look, look, if you look here, look for the lucency here. You see here there is crowding of tissue. Look for the crowding of tissue. And look here how it is detailed, more detailed. This one under compressed, and this is better compression. You see, this is related to the compression with better compression you have good separation of tissue lines proper compression compression helps in spreading of the breast tissue away and delineation good delineations and this one what is wrong of this image nibble not in profile Nibble not in profile. So only that? No, the image quality is poor. Image Regarding quality. what? I think this is underexposed. The axilla and the, the axilla is not appearing. This is, this oh, is CC. Sorry. No, this is a CC. CC view. Yeah. You compare this with the previous. Here, can you, co can you compare? the breast tissue from the uh, yani parenchyma, from fat, from the muscle posterior, from the skin. Do so you have any compressed. contrast? The contrast no. is poor. Yeah. So not this compressed. Is contrast. This is poor contrast image. Mm -hmm. So this is related to contrast, poor contrast image. Contrast, the failure is due to poor contrast. And this very obvious, tell me, which 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 uh, the image failure without saying this or that without describing it will be uh, the, the pectoral, failure the pectoral, is related to what the pectoral muscle not in profile so what right. what is the criteria and the, and the criteria is what exposure. is it exposure positioning positioning this is poor. This is poor positioning. Under exposure. This is this is poor positioning. The failure is related to poor positioning. And this one. This is artifact also from the skin fold. A skin fold, excellent artifact. This is a skin fold. Ah, yeah, Shabab. This is this band-like opaque is due to skin fold. So, the skin fold. Uh, uh, كيف skin to evaluate the mammographic image quality. From uh, at the top of the pyramid is the position, which represents 20% of clinical image failure, followed by exposure, compression, sharpness, contrast, artifact, labeling, and noise. Okay? So, what about this image? The failure related to? What do you think? Well positioned. The failure should be? The exposure. 
اكسبوجر اندر اور اوفر 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 اكسبوجر فروم ذا بيجينينج تيل ذيس از اوفر اكسبوجر اجين اجين اي كود نوت سي ذا سكين اند ات از ذا سيم از ذا بريفيوس اكزامبل اي كود نوت سي ذا نيبل اور ذا سكين اند ات لوكس بلاك لوك هاو ات از بلاك اند اي سي سو and this one we have seen it before samia this is really what is the fault in this case uh this is a compression excellent this is compression you remember the case mm -hmm. yes yes you remember it? the one under compressed under compressed here when they add uh, make the proper compression so separation of the parenchyma, we, we could delineate the, the lesion. Big, this is small breast cancer. Uh -huh. What about this one? They put for you an arrow. What do you think most likely to be? The fault, there is fault in this case. Where is the fault? It will be. Skin. What do you this is not, this is, per, this is within parenchyma, not the skin. Mm -hmm. I have area of asymmetric distortion. So what do you expect? And I told you this is fault. So what do you expect? It will be. Exposure? Compression. 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 It, yes. it, it will go for compression. And as mm -hmm. you know, the anterior breast is thinner than the posterior breast. Yes. So most of the time it will uh, uh, it will be under compressed. So it can result in uh, artificial or or some apparent uh, asymmetries or distorted parenchyma. So when they add focalized compression, it nothing. Gives nothing. It disappears. Yeah. In this case here, we can see two image. One definitely is obviously the compression and separation of the parenchyma is much better than the left one. Yes, do you agree? Especially in the anterior portion of the breast. The reason for that, there are two types of uh, compression values. The standard one is that straight one. You see, mm. this image, this image uh, performed using this, uh, the standard straight bodies. But there is a modified one with tilt, anterior tilt. You see, so when they compress the posterior portion, the body again, they can tilt it anteriorly also, I mean, can tilt it anteriorly to compress the anterior portion of the breast. That can result in this better image. Mm -hmm. So as long as fine detail quality is needed on the breast, as we have or we apply good uniform thickness, compression okay what happened here in these illustrations this illustration demonstrate the posterior located lesions Lesion. when they applied when they applied the compression it slipped back mm. it moved out of the field of the view but also yeah, need, they discovered some modification in the machines to overcome these uh, faults and these problems. And there is uh, some traction system used in mammographic machine to pull the breast still forward into the machine while compressions, as in this case and here. And is it connecting or not connected? Because it gave me message that there is problem in the connection. 
No, it, uh, your it's voice good. is good. You hear me? Yeah, obviously. Oh, it's okay. So if you look here, you can see, look for the breast. Compare this by this. Here there is more, more Traction. pulling. More pulling yeah. of the press, more pulling of the press Pull out, with yes. the bodies, okay? That can help in pushing or pulling, I mean, the uh, posterior located lesions that can be uh, slipped out or pulled out of the field of the view. Another issue. Dr. Rubabel, pulling them by the machine? Yes, okay. traction system. Okay. A traction system. Mm, okay. here, here, there is no traction system in this illustration. Mm, the other so is. when they apply the when they apply the uh, compression, mm. at the posterior located slipped shifted. out. Yeah, shifted, shifted back. Mm. But here, because they are pulling more press tissue from the chest wall, they pulled even that Division. within okay. the field of view. That is part of the of the mammographic system. Mm -hmm. Okay, they call okay. it traction system. And if you see here, there is more more pulling tissue. of the breast mm -hmm. tissue compared to mm -hmm. that one. Yes. Another thing, if you remember, we said that uh, the breast is uh, uh, the superior posterior medial portion of the breast can be missed on MLO. Do you remember that? Can you convert this to image? This image here, there is nothing. There is no lesion. Though I could see the pectoralis here, fully seen, but I could not see any lesions. But when they repeat it here, you see, there is a cancer at the apex of the pectoralis. This image, taken here, corresponding to these illustrations, and this Emmy corresponding to this illustration. So what was happened? Was, what was happening here? The lesion uh, got pulled into the uh, uh, field of view. Uh, the lesion got pulled uh, to, the, to, the, uh, to the area covered. That's why it appeared. Yes, here, here the lesion pulled or pushed out field of field of view in this image while here pulled inside it. pulled inside what is the reason for that the pulling attraction of the breast no here by traction you can see they are drawing for you this line or this, uh, yes, this uh, curvilinear appearance of the press to show you that it the press, uh, yeah, forward uh, bolt, bolt forward. But here there is something different. Look for this arrow. What does it mean? And look for the detect detector locations. Yes, okay. and this lesion, look, this is near to the cleavage of the breast. Mm -hmm. This is the breast. And the first image. And the view, and the view is MLO. Mm. So we 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 mentioned before, you know, the breast are mobile structures. And morphology was size variable. It is a unique structure. It varies from female to another female. Okay. Mm. And it is fixed in the superior and medial part and mobile inferiorly and laterally. And Was in that lecture, we said while positioning, we have to move the breast from the mobile to the immobile regions. We have to, to move it from Immobile, Reham is the dean. There are a lot of lines coming from Reham is the dean, red lines. Okay, so 
we have to pull to a while positioning the mammography, we have to move it from the, from the mobile, from lower portion and lateral portion into medial and superior. And here, this is a detector and the breast lying along the detectors laterally, okay? Mm -hmm. So by pushing the breast more lateral, we miss the extreme medial portion because it is fixed. It is immobile. But just with some adjustment, pushing the detector, the detector oh. and the breast a little bit medially from lateral toward medial aspect, you see, we can include the lesion on the medial. It will be within, you see, for most likely the, the clinically palpable or the concerning, the, it concerns them clinically or being seen on the CC view or seen in ultrasound or whatever. That is why. Otherwise, for this image, they are not going to repeat the MLO like that. But we have to consider that. We have to put it in our mind. The extreme posterior, uh, superior medial breast lesion, it's easy to be missed on MLO. And that is the location. Do you remember when we describe uh, the to go directly when we said we have we will go directly to extended lateral view to extended lateral view because the lesion usually posterior but superior superior posterior toward the axillary tail but the medial usually toward the yes. apex of the pectoralis okay doctor abab معلش سؤال بسيط كده في النقطه دي yes uh, in this in this view, adequate medial in this lesion, adequate medial oblique view. If I'm not seeing uh, this lesion in CC view, adequate CC view, uh, I have I I missed this lesion in adequate medial oblique or not this lesion. Yeah, this is, is one of the technical. This is one of uh, missing due to technical. Fault. يعني لو كان اديكويت لو كان اديكويت ميديولاترال اوبليك ما ليش ده ليش تسيم تبي اديكويت ده سؤال ذاته يا باص حسي الصوره يعني, يعني انا بحتاج انا انا ده يعني انا ده السؤال ده انا ذات از واي اكسبلين سو هير ذات از واي اي تولد يو ذيس بروبابلي دي هاف سين ات دي كونسيرن ذيم كلينيكلي اور ذا هاف سين ات اون الترا ساوند اور مايت بي ابييرد اون ذا سي سي فيو Otherwise, mm, okay. uh, I will not repeat the MLO unless, unless there is any background. Yes. I have background. There is something there is on, the reason. The, mm. on, the, on the media breast. Yes. Okay. You yani got the point. Hai, yes. Mm. Yani hina mm. ma yani ana lo adequate CC, adequate medial وما في اي كلينيكال ما بحتاج يعني ما حاضيف اي حاجه ولا اعمل ريبيت ولا اي حاجه. That is why ثاني. that is why there is some some percentage of uh, of interval cancer mm -hmm. because uh, not everything it it is uh, it is in our hand mm -hmm. yeah some okay. are not لانه هنا بس الموديفيكيشن كان على الديتكتور بس يعني انت عملت شويه موديفيكيشن بس عشان yeah, كده تشوفت النيجو بس ذيس تيبس ديتكتور ولا ريسورس يو سي ذا تيبس ذيس تيبس Yani, usually the technologists they to they have to be aware about and uh, uh, for us as breast imager we have to think about it and we have to be aware about it. You see, yani, okay. usually usually if you have patients she has any complaint or she has no complaint or you are doing mammography and ultrasound think about that. There are certain area might be missed in apparently adequate uh, uh, imaging. To put it in your mind, you see. If you go for ultrasound, you can check for these areas. That is it. Okay. Okay. Exactly. 
ha huh? a uh, compression again what about this image if you look here there is blaring or motion artifact also related to compression so compression 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 positioning compression compression positioning what are the values of compression Compression have two main values, reduce the radiation dose and improve the image quality. That is why from the beginning, we have to tell the patient, to inform the patients that you are going to be exposed for a brief compression. It is not painful, but it associated with but it is uncomfortable, associated with some discomfort, but it will be last for a few seconds. But it is so important to, to have a good quality image. Just prepare the patient to accept the compression. You see? Okay, and yes. Yeah. So it will reduce the radiation dose and it will improve the image quality. How? reduction in the breast thickness due to compression will reduce the scatter and the scatter redu reduction of the scatter definitely improving contrast is spread out of the glandular tissue will reduce the superimposition of the tissue give uniform thickness more even penetration so less variation in radiographic density reduce a pseudo lesion and asymmetries and definitely this will reduce the rate of recall and at the same time by spreading of the breast tissue that it might hide a subtle abnormality as we have seen in the previous case and enabling to visualize small suspicious lesions Location of the structures in the breast when compressed, it will come closer to the emic detector. So it will reduce geometric blaring. It will be more sharp, more visualized, more clear, as well as reduce the motion artifact by immobilization, compressing the breast by compressing the breast and Compression holding the breast away from the chest wall and reduce the chance of other part to superimpose the image. And so also it will hold the breast that placing the pectoralis muscle and the nipple at the same levels, which we needed for the image evaluations. And we have to know that too much compression does nothing to improve the emic quality and just give more discomfort and pain for the patients. So only apply compression until skin become taut or if the patient asks to stop more compression. Okay, what about this image? What is wrong with this emic quality? Underexposed. That is only? Um, only underexposed? This is more than that. <laughs> huh? What is this? If it is under compressed, this area different from this area. If it under compressed, why you did not see the skin? It is obscured, the breast is obscured, but obscured because superimposed by body part, other body part projected over the breast area. You see, distorted. So let us go for the position, the most important portion and the apex of the pyramid. 
So what are the correctness criteria for the mediolateral oblique view? Mediolateral, we said that the most important view because it demonstrates the maximum amount of breast tissue in a single projections. And it should involve the axilla, axillary tail and inframammary fold as well as the whole breast, okay, and breast tissue. The nipple should be aligned well, should be seen in profile, and the pectoral is major, should be well visualized. We'll go through its criteria later or separately when these uh, wider at the axilla, apex at the nipple line, below nipple line, when both uh, face back to back. Uh, to MLO right and left, it should meet at the V form and inframammary fold should be open and they should not absent or missing of any part and they should not be skin fold or artifacts as a, as a general rule. What about this image? Is it good image or bad image and why? Regarding position, now we are going to talk about position. Okay, mm -hmm. just talk about the position. Is it adequate positioning or inadequate positioning and why? Inadequate position, uh, the nipple uh, not in profile, uh, the pectoral. This is, is a missing. nipple, that is a nipple, that is a nipple, that is a nipple. I can see it. nipple in profile. The, the pectoral is muscle. Uh, not seen the lower edge of the pectoral muscle. This is the lower edge of pectoral. This is the lower edge? Yes. The shape of the, the, the shape of the pectoral is not is convex. Straight. Convex. It's convex accepted. It ha either it should be straight or convex toward the nipple. It should not be concave. And I can see the loose and see through it, not radio opaque, not contracted. It is wide at the axilla and pointing down. Its apex or the lower level is below the posterior the nipple posterior line. line. I could yeah. see the very fold open. So what is wrong? Any part of the body cut? Axilla. Axilla and the axillary uh, tail. But not usually, the axillary tail is involved, but not oh, always okay. the whole axilla is visualized. This is part of the axilla. This axillary lymph node, you can see it. But you cannot see the whole axilla. You see? But this is an optimum. This is an ideal MLO. This oh. is an ideal MLO. What is wrong here? This is very obvious. This is the nipple in profile, while this out of profile, projected into the parenchyma in this case. So the fault in this case, just we concentrate into the nipple. But if, but if you look, when they pull the nipple in profile, how it is corrected, look for the inframammary fault here and compare it with this one. Look for the pectoralis muscle and compare it here. <coughs> Just by placing the nipple in the correct position, they improve the whole positioning of the breast. <laughs> that is why before we said, when you put the nipple mar marker, <clears throat> can help us to well position the nipple. And when pos well positioning the nipple, it helps us to, to position the whole breast because it is the most consistent anatomical markers, the nipple, in both uh, CC and MLO view. So talking about the pectoralis, how much pectoralis muscle is enough? When I say pectoralis muscle is enough and why it is important? Pectoralis muscle is a, is a key component, is an anatomical landmark uh, resulting in decisive quality factors. You see, 
depending on the amount of quality, I will tell if the amount of breast tissue is optimum, inclusion of breast tissue is optimum or not. For insurance, proper positioning, and thereby maximizing the amount of breast tissue, including. <clears throat> and as we mentioned, the amount of visible pectoralis reflecting the amount of included breast tissue. And especially the upper outer quadrant where the pathology is most common. And very important, reduced number of false negatives and increase the sensitivity of mammography. Evaluation <clears throat> of these spectrally, so the margin will be visualized in the upper, it should be well visualized in the upper half of the image. And there are criteria. Do, do you know the criteria? Just we went through it while we were talking in the beginning, just uh, quickly like that. Could you capture any of these criteria? We discussed some of which. Mm -hmm. Not in details, but just we mentioned it while we went through the previous images. Hmm? Regarding Sorry, the, uh, what, is it? what is the question again? Sarah? Ah, you said Soal. what? Soal. The criteria for evaluation of the pectoralis muscle only. How you are going uh -huh. to evaluate the pectoralis major muscle in, uh, in the in, in MLO view? Uh, yes, we're going to put the bone B shape, it's going straight, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. out uh, convex like this, but mm -hmm. we will not accept the concave one. Excellent. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, this is the most uh, mm. I think this is the most important thing. I don't know what about your voice. Uh, I it think is this is the important thing. Not not very clear, ah. huh? Ah, okay. Now it's better. Ah, yeah. Yes, you are right. Okay. Any more? The lower edge of the muscle should be above the posterior nib uh, at the level or above the post or lower uh, above? the posterior nibble. Sorry, lower the posterior nibble line. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So just to organize things, okay? To remember it. Okay, I don't know. We talk about the length of the muscle or height, length or the height of the muscles. It should be visualized down to the level or below the axis of the nipple or the posterior nipple line. Here, it is below the posterior nipple line. This is the length or the height of the muscles. The width of the muscle, it should be wide at the axilla and narrow down. Seems like this triangular shape. Wide axilla, narrow down. This is regarding its width. The shape and opacity of the, it should be, as we mentioned, convex or straight and radiolucent, as we comment before, and we are going to comment. It should not be opaque. When we see it is more opaque, that means it is contracted. And the angle here, the angle, it should be 10 or more. We'll see examples for that, don't worry. As we mentioned, should never be concave. If it is concave, it is not an optimum. And a concave shape, as we mentioned, it means it is contracted, it's not relaxed. That means it pull the tissue toward the chest wall. That means it hinders the effort of 
to pull the breast from the chest wall and some of the tissue most likely not included into the image. Let us see here these examples regarding the angles of the pectoralis. If we look here, this is definitely good angle because it is more than 10. And this definitely insufficient pectoralis. The angles is very small. This is what? Contracted, contracted pectoralis. Look at it, this contracted pectoralis. That means some of the breast tissue is not included definitely. Mm -hmm. This is the optimum one. This is wider at the axilla, con convex, and the lower edge at the level of the posterior nipple line. This is a correct mammogram. The three others are not correct mammography. Not the three. I mean, this is also correct. This is also correct. These are two not correct. This is also wide, giving the triangular, reaching the posterior nipple line, and the angle is more than 20. So those are correct pectoralis. Those are inadequate pectoralis. Okay. Here the posterior nipple line or pectoral nipple line. Can you see it here? It transect the pectoralis line. Even I could not see the end of pectoralis, but being transected is accepted. It is accepted because it transect this one at perpendicular angle. But here, it does not transect it because the line is here. Just they pass it, it, it doesn't transect uh, this line. That means this is definitely not adequate. This is inadequate and this is adequate pectoralis. Consider. Okay. What about A, B, C, and D? Mm -hmm. Which one is adequate? Which one is not adequate? A is adequate. Is adequate. Huh? A, A and C. Adequate. Who said C is adequate? A adequate. Yes. <laughs> A, A adequate. Mm -hmm. But the remaining three are suboptimal or are suboptimal inadequate. Why? Um, yeah. The angle in C is less than 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If when we talk, yeah, for each here we can say a height or length is optimum below the posterior nipple line. A shape convex, a width wide the axilla narrow down, an angle more than 10. When we look for this, it is very short, very high not reaching, okay? Though it is straight and wide and the angle might be, but it doesn't reach here, so it is suboptimal. This, it is concave, most important. And this, it is narrow, mm -hmm. relatively narrow. When it is narrow, also we are afraid from some uh, missing of the posterior breast tissue. So, A is adequate. We can apply all, but B, the length of the muscle is short. C, the width of the muscle, it is narrow. And D, the concavity, the shape of the muscles. So, these are the descriptors. Yani, this just try to put it in your mind while describing the pectoralis. The descriptors are length of the muscles, width of the muscles, shape of the muscles, and angles of the muscles. And nowadays they are using the CAT system to evaluate even for the adequacy and quality control of the image before evaluating for uh, abnormality or picking any abnormality of the breast. And 
but not all the criteria. Uh, they can use it for evaluation of the muscles, pectoralis muscle, especially its length, and can evaluate for the borders of the breast, for the location of the nipple and retromammary uh, fat. Okay, and here, can you see? This is adequate pectoralis, but look here. The pectoralis is short, is not adequate. Okay, regarding this image, what about the pectoralis? Short. In insufficient pectoralis mm -hmm. or inadequate pectoralis, definitely inadequate pectoralis, it looks like what? As if it is extended lateral CC view. Usually you have seen it. Yani, uh, pectoralis look like semilunar in the extended lateral. Yes. And here it is semilunar. Here the sh it is convex. The shape, yes, is convex. But the width is not wide in the axilla and narrow down. Even here, it is narrow in the axilla. The one issue. The other one is, is short, very high. Narrow and short. Yes. From the posterior nipple line. And the angles, it, it looks less than 10. So this, uh, with decreasing angles, only with decreasing angles, the risk of missing relevant breast tissue part for mammographic cancer detection will be increased. So these are the pectoralis. It has to be like that. Wide superior, convex or straight. It's lower level at or below the line. This is the optimum MLO. And I could see the nipple in profile highlighted by the nipple markers and open inframemory pole. But to have or to miss it, depend on what this appearance, to get it, there are factors affecting. Okay, visualization of an optimum pectoralis muscles. We, it can be related to equipment setting or setup. It can be related to the patient positioning and the skills of the technologist or can be related to the patient body habits. And that is why there might be barrier or something yani, uh, hinder the technologist to do proper positioning. Okay? And in this case, he has to write it for you. If the patient having a scoliosis, for example, he has to write it for you. The patient could not stand up. The mammography performed in a sitting position or in a lying down position. He has to write it for you, okay? And even they have to review the previous mammography for any consistent physical limitations. So, yeah, I need to refer, <clears throat> to refer for it. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, what about this image? Regarding the pectoralis, we're still talking about the pectoralis. Mm -hmm. The left one is suboptimal. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Left is suboptimal. In mm -hmm. which term? How is the suboptimal? Uh, the pectoralis is uh, inadequate. Uh, it, it's very short, does not reach, uh, its lower level does not reach the posterior nipple line. What do you uh, see? Uh, what do you see the lower level? I can't mm. even see it. The border of pectoralis could not be visualized. Uh, that is it. Mm. The borders of pectoralis could not be visualized even. Mm. And it is deficient. Mm. So, okay? Yeah. Yeah. The margins or borders, it is inadequate. And definitely will result in potential exclusion of posterior breast tissue. So again, this can be related to equipment setup 
could be related to patient position or patient habitus, body habitus. But regarding the equipment, what do you think regarding the equipment? If they push the corner of the image receptor high into the axilla, might lead to this appearance. So it has just to be placed anterior to latissimus dorsi. The adjustment of the image receptors also, that, me, that is why mammography needs a dedicated radiographer. Not any radi uh, yani radiographer can do mammography. They can do any x-rays or any imaging technique, but they cannot do mammography. Without training, they cannot do mammography. Because you see, just placing the, the image receptors with few centimeter difference can result in all these different image. And the impact of which is exclusions of some of the breast tissue that can contain cancer. So it's really important. Regarding the patient position, okay, if she is not relaxing her shoulder and maintaining her limb, upper limb, inserting positions, also can result in that. It will contract by contracting her shoulder, it can contract the pectoralis major and result in such types of the image. Also, the technologist or the radiographer. She's the one who gave the patient advice or trying to relax her shoulder and putting for her in a certain positions. Regarding this image, what do you think? Which, this is the same patient. They repeat the image. Which one is first, which one is second? The first is the left because the inframemory fold is not uh, appearing. Regarding yes. the pectoralis. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hint is talking, yes? Yes. Okay, regarding the pectoralis hint, which one is first? Mm. Right. Uh, I can see Yanni. Mm -hmm. uh, I can accept Lano la... regarding the lens. Which yani, one, the which lower... one is better? Which one is better? The 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 one which is written in it right. It's written okay. in the image right. You're right. Yes, you are right. Yes, because the, the Yanni. When they try to adjust for the pectoralis, it's also mm. the whole image, mm. the same like the nipple. When they mm. correct the nipple positioning, everything yeah. is being corrected. Yeah. By placing things correctly, the other structures, it will also be corrected. Yeah, corrected. You see? Because yeah. here, this is the apex is not, look here, you can see yeah. You see yeah. to, that, to that level, and you can see yeah. the apex much better than this. And yes, we say even the low sense. the mm. apex at usually showing the medial, posterior, superior, medial portion. You remember that case? We have seen it uh, early, and this is the location where the medial breast. Mm -hmm. demonstrated on mammography uh -huh. by doing like this we might miss mm -hmm. you see the medial breast tissue. breast tissue this result in the medial breast tissue missing but when we ensure to visualize it like this till this level this is most likely the medial breast tissue is being involved mm -hmm. if you look here it is triangular shape. It's more triangular than yes. this one. 
and its apex here at lower, much lower level than that one. And the shape mm -hmm. and everything. Yes, see a convex and here is straight. Accept it. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. And here even you can see the lymph node. Look for the lymph node, part of which mm -hmm. here. Here you can see the axilla much better. And these portions extending a little bit more. And you can see down inframammary fault. Open. So correct it. The right is corrected from the left one. <clears throat> By correcting the nipple position, huh? But not nipple here. Correct nipple is okay. Uh, the previous no, one. I mean, we said the previous one when they correct the nipple, they correct the uh, inframammary fault and pectoralis. And here yes, they mean correct this. it. Mm. They correct it for the pectoralis. Mm. Okay, to visualize like that. You mm. see, uh, by correcting for the vectoralis, even everything is being corrected. We could visualize more, more pressed here. This portion, it was the posterior inferior part cut. Yes. Not involved here. Mm. So this can be just adjusted. Uh, might be due to the angle. They said equipment setup, it might be just Due to the angle, they just they can decrease the angle by five degree. It might result in this one. Okay. You see how, yeah, it needs, yeah, a dedicated, dedicated persons to do that. Not everyone he can do it. Type or she can do it. And related to the patient positions, also the patient must be facing forward with the both shoulder, hips, and feet oriented toward that machine. See, and certain position, certain position of the patients as well as the angle of the machines. We'll see, uh, re, uh, <clears throat> we'll talk about the angles, inshallah, in the next slides. Okay, so here, uh, we discussed we can use the CAT system to evaluate for the pectoralis. And here it can represent the shape, the length and the shape. Here it is convex and here it is concave. And again, this can be related to equipment, equipment setup, can be related to the patient position the image receptors, if it is too high, if it, all these can affect this appearance. Okay, what about these uh, images? The difference between this and this. Here I can see even the abdominal wall, the inframammary fold and abdominal wall. I can see well the breast, but it looks like a hang down or hanging down. A nipple pointing inferiorly, it rolled inferiorly in this case. Here I expect what the image receptor to be a little bit low, not adjusted yani, properly. The image receptor low, that is why the breast is hung. This is the reverse. The image receptor too high, so the image sagging and here cutting the posterior inferior mm -hmm. portion we could not see the inframammary fault this is related to position or placing of the image receptor so as we described before we said for the mlo you see compare these two pictures the image receptors and the patients. We should adjust the image receptors according to the body habitus, patient habitus, okay? And we should not leave it low. We should not raise it very high. It should be adjusted. The patient should lean forward toward the machines. And the detector should be as close as possible 
to the chest wall, not like this one. It should be like this one. Mm. See, it should be so close to the chest wall. And the breath should be pulled away from the chest wall to open the inframammary fold. Here, this is, you see, look for, look even for the shoulder here. A little bit relaxed, not like this one. This is high up, away from the chest wall. Not, yani, uh, the, the shoulder not so relaxed. And this is giving sagging or drooping press. And the inframammary fold on the posterior inferior portion is cut. You got it? And as we mentioned before, the breast, the image receptors usually placing parallel to the pectoralis and the breast resting obliquely and the compression plate coming from the medial side obliquely and the, then <clears throat> the X-rays or the breast is imaging uh, from superior or upper medial toward lower lateral with 45 degrees. This 45 degrees is not, yani, is not Quran for every patient. It has to be 45. It can be individualized per patient. It can be less than uh, 45 for more than 45 by 10. Yani roughly between between 30, 35 to 60. It can be adjusted. So it has to be optimized in that way and to relax the shoulder, to have a relaxed pectoralis and <clears throat> to make, to put the nipple and pectoralis at the same level and to have this is, you see, the pectoralis angles, to visualize the pectoralis angles with more than 10 <clears throat> degree and to be relaxed, not contracted so as to appear straight or convex toward the nipple. Because in some books, they are written, the pectoralis has to be convex. But when they talk about convex, they brought concave. That, that is why when we say concave or convex, we said toward the nipple. It has to be convex toward the nipple. Okay, straight or convex toward the nipple and the posterior nipple line. And they should not be uh, fold or skin, skin fold or artifact or body part uh, superimposing the image. And it has to open when pulling, as we said, the patient leaning forward and pulling the breast more and more from the chest wall will open uh, and adjust the image receptors by the body, patient body not to be high or low. So we could uh, visualize the pectoral as well and inframammary fault and by placing the nipple in profile. Huh? What about these two image? What is the difference between these two image? Huh? Are are they optimum? No. no. Huh? What do you think yes. regarding position? Huh? The, the left one is too high. This one cutting inferior, cutting this. This is sagging. And this is again the nipple is down. I could see all these distance. This mm -hmm. is hanging. This yes. is again. These are example of hanging and sagging breast. Look for the hanging. Look for the pectoralis. You have seen part of the pectoralis. You could not yes. see it. Yani. So the lower. So if you can see this part, but still it is not an optimum image. Uh, what about this? One, two, three. Optimum or not optimum? And why? 
Let us take one. One optimum? No. يا دكتورة رباب. أها. معلش سؤال قبل إحنا كان في إيميج لقتنا البيكتوراليس إحنا ما شفنا اللور portion of the pectoralis لكن النبل posterior nipple line كان transecting المصل before that وكلنا أخذنا accepted صح؟ أيوة طيب مثلا مثلا 1D This this you can accept it. Yes. This is not 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 the cause. Uh huh. It's not the cause uh -huh. of the fall. There is other the cause. Inframammary fall is absent. Inframammary is not seen. What else? Yeah. More important. The upper part of the breast also. Yeah. Look here. Uh -huh. That that, that this is cut. Hmm. You cannot see it. Uh -huh. Part of the breast, the upper part of the breast is cut. Is missing. Yeah. That's what you should not accept it. And what yeah. about this? Uh huh. The inframammary, the inferior part, is missing. Missing. There is missing part. Both mm -hmm. one or two, but one, but two is adequate. This two mm -hmm. is adequate. Mm -hmm. and this one is 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 accepted. At least is accepted. Though the inframammary fault, there is some overlap, but is accepted. Mm -hmm. The the pectoral is. You see, you can see it below it. You, you, not all, you will see it so triangular and you can see both borders. You can see part of each. Since you can see this lower portion, yeah, it's accepted. Okay? But, but for this one, look at it, how it looks. It is high and Yani, it is not. Yani, here you can see much better than here. You can see more pectoralis here. It still, is is not sufficient. Okay. Okay. Huh? What about this one? One and two, or left and right? Adequate or not adequate? Both are inadequate. Hmm? Both are inadequate. Excellent. Both are inadequate. Why? Uh, the right one, um, the pectoral is too high. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't see the lower edge of it, and it's too thin. Like um, um, well, the angle is uh, the angle is okay, but uh, it is uh, too thin, and the lower edge cannot be seen. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one. Uh, Also, uh, too thin, uh, a bit contracted too. Mm -hmm. And I cannot see the lower portion of the pectoralis. Mm -hmm. And the nipple is not important. See, you can look here. Mm -hmm. We can see the parenchyma going. We could not see the end of the parenchyma. There is still missing breast tissue. Yeah, I cannot see the end of the. I cannot see the retromammary fat. Mm. Still, there I have seen tissue passing and cutting here. I don't know how much the non-included or excluded breast tissue. Oh, mm. so here I can say in both I can say I could not see the retromammary fat <laughs> because it is glandular, glandular breast. I could not see the retromammary fat. So still there is parenchyma going back. And this is, you see, if I could adjust the nipple, it might everything be adjusted. So not fully visualize the retromammary fat in these cases. And what about this one? To throw it up. Huh? Uh, quickly, one of you quickly to tell me what too high the level of the pectoralis is not at the level of the nipples. The pectoralis is not well seen. The borders not well seen. The height is not uh, is not uh, optimum. The the shape, is not, nothing is optimum regarding the pectoralis. Very deficient, inadequate pectoralis both sides. The, mm. What else? Okay, no, the retromammary fat is not seen. 
retromammary fat not seen. What else? A nipple uh, in the right side is not in profile. Nipple not profile in the right side. What else? The inframammary fold is not both sides. Mm -hmm. So this for repeat. Definitely, there is potential exclusion of the posterior medial, lateral and medial prestige. Both. Okay. And what about this? Here. Again, I could not see the retromammary fat. Here you can see, you see the parenchyma Extended. going into the pleuralis. I'm not sure also about the retromammary uh, uh, tissue. Okay. Here I could see the retromammary fat, but... Part of the breast is missing superiorly. Fat, there is missing of the superior part, yeah. and here... The inferior part is missing too. The inferior part is missing. And this one? Also missing breast tissue inferiorly. In both breast part. tissue inferiorly missed. Uh, I could not see around. the retromammary fat. Yes. And, and the pectoral is both right. sides. In any um, other group. Very short. Yani. Inadequate oh. in every criteria. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now. Yeah. All the criteria are not optimal regarding the pectoralis in conclusion. So, oh. mm -hmm, for repeat, both sides. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And what about this one? The pectoralis is, um, is uh, optimum. Adequate. Optimum, mediolateral oblique. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Contraction. Excellent. Who said contraction? Hint. Hint. Excellent. Which side? The left one. Left, left side. The left, yeah, left is concave. Mm -hmm. They said it should never, it should never be concave. It should never be concave. So concave, left side. Side. concave, left side. So, left is suboptimal. You are not so sure about the retromammary fat, yeah, boss. You are also not sure about fat. the optimum inclusion of the posterior breast. Hmm? I'll retromammary Re fat bilaterally. Not, not visible. Yes, but because, because we said that some it's of contracted. the breast tissue some of the breast tissue extending even sometimes lateral to the pectoralis and mm. seen projecting over the pectoralis muscles. Okay. You see? This is normal? Yes. Some, some of the patients, they have normal breast tissue okay. projecting. But for mm. this, yani, we, we have not seen pectoralis well. We are not sure. How much mm. still there is posterior prestige? Yeah. In this case, yeah, yeah, I, not, I, I cannot that. tell. I cannot mm. tell how much. Uh, but here in this case, yeah, and you have seen the whole most of the whole pectoralis and some mild prestige projecting over the pectoralis, which is in certain patient you can see it. Huh? Uh huh. I feel the only thing that you're not happy with is a contracted uh, left pectoral. Yes, contracted left. Mm -hmm. That is it. Huh? Because though it is a uh, yani single criteria, but it is important criteria. Sometimes you might pass uh, yani one criteria, but this criteria, yani indicative of missing of breast tissue because indicate the pre the pectoralis contracted. That means prevent pulling the breast from the chest wall. That means most likely some of the breast is not included in the field of view. You got it. Though you can see. It, by by your eyes you can see it like that 
but is still being contracted, some prestige might be not included. Uh -huh. what, what is going on in this case? Which one is first, which one is second? Alfenosi is second. Here, this is bilateral mammography. Okay. And then, this is another image for the right one. Can you imagine? Huh? lower edge of the doctoral is Yeah, look. This is easy, we pass it during the practice. Optimum, it was not. When mm. they pull it more, there was a the cancer. Legion appears. Mm. There was more cancer here. Can mm. you imagine that? Oh, they pull it more on the inferior edge, or the suspicious I don't, clinical. I don't know. I don't know. I don't mm. know the reason. But what we can say, this is not mm. a typical mirror image, not a V-shape. Mm, okay, yes. Yeah, it's, there is something. But we, I don't know exactly what, what is the reason from the literature. They did not explain. But mm. definitely, there is lack of V-shape exactly. We slightly deficient. Uh, not the right. I, the right. The right. The apex will pectoral is major, slightly compared to the left is slightly deficient. The overexposure. Yeah, and even the borders, the borders here more sharper than this. I don't know. The apex is not clear. This area they might take it as some distortion here, mm -hmm. and then they repeat. I don't know exactly the reason they did not explain. This is even from this explanation, it is mine. I did not find. They said mm -hmm. just they repeat the image and they mm -hmm. found this without explanation. And I they just selected it because, because it is. I, yeah. uh, if I will add something, we can tell Haja Lahasa in practice, a clinical data. A clinical data in examination. Yeah, really. You are yes. right, 100. 100% yes. you are right. Yes. You are right. You are right. That is why in the previous, mm. you see that one with illustration of the medial, superior medial press when it slipped out. I told you for that image, I will not repeat it unless this uh, demonstrate. Uh, a lesion on the CC view or yes. the patient has complained or they concern about it clinically or I have seen yes, it on the sound. Otherwise, yes. I'm not going to repeat that MLO. Yes, yes. Also, this one, usually we are not repeating this type of MLO. Yes. Unless mm -hmm. yeah, we, might, we might go because subtle distortion. If I compare the two sides, definitely... There is some distortion here, definitely. Some distortion is seen here. That is might be a reason. Yani if we have seen something on the other view or we could see uh, uh, something, yes, on the, on the CC view, we might see the medial located. This is most likely medially located lesions. We might see it on the CC view and then repeat the vectoral is vectoral is repeat the MLO to, to visualize it. And this is again same lesion, same same uh, same story. This MLO and lateral perform and report it as negative screening. The patient come next year and they have done proper better uh, mammography pulling the pectoral is better than the previous one and they found this large cancer so it was it had been missed if you go back you can see subtle changes here very subtle but that is the one 
and they consider it missed cancer. So if the breast is not well positioned, can be ended with cancer missing. What about this one? Optimum or suboptimum and why? Suboptimum, the lower edge of the pectoralis is higher than the... Excellent. Both sides. It is above the level of the posterior nipple line and these resulting in potential exclusion of the posterior lateral or medial breast tissue. Just being higher than the posterior nipple line is enough, huh? Re can result in uh, exclusion of the posterior breast tissue. Okay, take this yani, a nice example or interesting example. Can you see this case here? They found this mass and on a spot magnification here and it's a measurement. Mm. This is the previous mm. one year, previous mammogram. Okay. It doesn't show any things, but look, yes. Mm. And okay. they brought the previous 2014 for the same patient, 13, 12. Look for the lesion. It was there, increasing, progressing, developing asymmetry. 2015, being missed. Might be here reported as intramammary uh, node or something missed, and because here two uh, fifteen the pectoralis was insufficient, it was missed and coming with that large lesion on two thousand. This is the difference between for two for two years. That is why it okay. is important when you compare. You have to compare for many years, not only one year, but look for the pectoralis. Here, pectoralis adequate, okay? But here, definitely, pectoralis contracted and inadequate. Yeah, narrow, neither shape, angles. Though it is only the length, the length is okay. Otherwise, the angle is not the width is not and the shape is not adequate. That is the reason for missing of breast cancer. Can you imagine? You have seen the breast cancer here and you have seen it here, but you could not see it here because of inadequate. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is Yani. Very inadequate. Huh? Very inadequate. Yes. What about this case? What do you think? Huh? Some Some Shukran. <laughs> it was mine. This is my patient. It was normal. Yes. Okay. What about this one? You missed part, no pectoralis, so missed upper breast. Pectoralis no, not seen. Fold. Ramamary fold not seen. <laughs> that upper is breast not seen. <laughs> yes, part of the upper breast not seen. Pectoralis not seen. Uh, Inframamary fold not seen. Nipple not in profile. <laughs> Nipple not in profile. It's okay. So everything is not there. So they have to repeat. When they repeat, Oof. though it's still suboptimal, Look for the cancer. Disaster. How many cancer we had missed due to suboptimal mammography? Sumaya is not here. Amia uh, was. Sumaya. She did not attend today. If she attend, she will quit from mammography because she is already crying from mammography. And she, if she attend this lecture, uh, I'm afraid that she will quit. 
she will say I will not report homography at all. But look, but if we are going systematic, uh, everything inshallah it will be managed. We should not accept such like, uh, if I told you I have seen, I have seen similar mammography reported as normal, hmm, like this, and the patient having a cancer. She has clinical problem. She brought to us mammography report as normal. When we examined her and we did ultrasound, we found she had the cancer. And we repeat for her mammography again. Proper mammography. Do you imagine that? It's a horrible story. Huh? A horrible story. Yes, while I was working in Soba, she brought to me mammography from other institute. You see? And she had a complaint. Because she had a complaint, uh, yani I went directly for ultrasound because she had mammography already. Uh, yani I was... Uh, uh, was suboptimal, yani, under... It was, it was sub, uh, very suboptimal. And read the book. Mm. And read the book. Just I put the broke on the cancer. I, I I repeat it for her a mammogram. It was very clear cancer. Very clear cancer. I don't know why to commit ourselves to report something like this. If properly, even properly like that one, we might miss few percentage of breast cancer, some percentage of breast cancer. It still can be missed. But by ignoring any quality, we can miss a lot. Do you agree? Yes. That is, that is why I said the image quality is really important. To understand the view. That is why we have, we, we, yani, we did three lectures or we presented the three lectures in this part because of its importance. Very important. Really important. Mm -hmm. Type, huh? This is, it looks, and in general, look at it, it looks optimum. Do you agree? Yes. Everything is fine. Okay. And what about this? Right and left. MLO. The right of... MLO is suboptimal. Huh? The no, right no, is sub... I'm not talking. Uh, yes, I'm talking about the, this where is the, the inframammary fold. The skin folding, effectively, overlapping. Uh, where? The left. Excellent, excellent notice. There is a skin folding. Yes, this is inadequate because there is skin folding and overlapping, but this is open. This is adequate in from memory fold, but this is not adequate in from memory fold. We should not accept this. Okay? So Babe, the right pectoralis is okay. No, I'm not talking. Yes, I brought it just to comment on the on the mm -hmm. inframammary fault. Mm -hmm. I brought it for that reason. Here you see there is a skin fault. They yes. try to adjust it. What? They miss they, part of the pectoralis. They miss the pectoralis. And here they try to adjust it, but they move from it. Mm -hmm. And instead of being just stretch or they move horizontal. They did not stretch the bridge and making uh, optimum. Okay. And this one. Who said the nice one before? The first case, that case. Sarah or whom? Who said Samha? I was <laughs> Is that some kind of mal in the inframammary fold? Slightly. Yes. That is also mine. This mm. is my patient. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Agree with you. 
inflammatory fault not open. Thank you. It must be on the image. Huh? But but otherwise everything. The inflammatory fault. Yes, yes, the inflammatory fault not open. It must be it's okay. nice. on the image. Yes, I agree. Huh? And this one. This one too, an inflammatory fold bilaterally is not uh, visible cl clearly open. Plus that the uh, no no the inflammatory inflammatory is open. The left uh, the left one is slightly it's... slightly fold. skin fold, fold. Mm -hmm. but this one is open. Mm -hmm. uh, but here the, the border is not visible clearly. Not uh, yes, that is the only. This is also mm -hmm. my patient. And this is also my patient. Huh? <laughs> this bad one is mine. The contraction. Huh? Contracted no, the previous, contraction. The, those are good. Those are good mammogram. These are good mammography. Hmm. But what about this one? Is it acceptable? Right. 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 Is very small. Yeah, this is not accepted, huh? Mm. Especially the right one. Mm. The the left one, the only things is that the retromammary fat. Retro because yeah. still we can see breast, breast tissue. tissue. Breast tissue is extending. We are not sure how much it is extending. Okay, because not minimal projecting over the vectoralis, large number of vectoralis, and here even we have cancer. Mm. But for the right one. The vectoralis is not, yeah. So the most common positioning error on MLO are, can you suggest? Mm -hmm. What are the most common? Insufficient vectoralis. Vectoralis, excellent. Done. What else? An open uh, inframammary fold. Inframammary fold. Okay, Tani. Nipple profile. Nipple positioning. Mm -hmm. What else? Retromammary fat. Huh? Retromammary fat and extended breast tissue beyond uh -huh. the. Uh -huh. um, Skin fold. Uh huh. Posterior nipple line should be uh, above the inferior border of the pectoral. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Okay, you are right. Okay, so nipple position, not in profile. Pectoral is muscle not seen. Pectoral is muscle border, not straight or concave. Lower edge of pectoral is muscle above posterior nipple line, inadequate coverage of lower part or other part of the breast, sagging breast, or cutting bottom of the breast, or mismatch of posterior nibble line, non-visualization of inframammary fold and skin folds. OK? Mm -hmm. OK, let us go for the CC view. What are the criteria to evaluate the CC view? How we can say? Is it an optimum CC view or not? What do you think about this? Is it optimum or not, and why? Optimum. Uh, pectoralis should be involved. Who is talking? Sarah? Sarah, yes. You are welcome, huh, Sarah? You said optimum, mm. yes? Mm, Bessel inframo, uh, yes, optimum. Uh -huh. I think it's not optimum. Why? Who said not optimum? Uh, Huda. Why it is it's not op optimum, Huda? It's optimum, yeah. Because the medial border, I couldn't see an inframammary fall clear, and also in the opposite side, in the lateral border also. Okay. The right breastway and nibble not in profile. Just the nibble, but it is. Okay. Lakin, Lakin. Lakin. It looks optimum, yeah. One by one, one by one, one by one. 
Okay, hint. You mm -hmm. said nipple is not in profile, but you are sure that is a nipple because a marker. you have a marker. Mm -hmm. If you have MLO mm -hmm. and the nipple in profile, uh, do you need to repeat the mammography? La, la. No. So, so, yes, mm -hmm. is relative. I will not say suboptimal here. I will not uh -huh. say suboptimal. Uh -huh. I will wait. Yeah, otherwise, hello. Yes, I will not say suboptimal. Even I'm sure uh -huh. this is a nipple. I'm uh -huh. sure, and there is no any adjacent subtle or any yeah, any suspicious uh -huh. features. I'm sure that is a nipple. There is a nipple marker and the nipple within. So uh -huh. I will consider it okay. Optimal. I will, mm. Oh, I will consider it okay regarding the nipple. Huda. Uh, yeah. Uh, Huda. Yeah. That is regarding you, Huda. Uh, yeah. You said the inframammary fold. The inframammary fold, you will see it on the CC view or MLO. 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 So now you are taking talking about CC. CC. So okay. you change your mind. والله بس انا انا قصدي الميديال بوردر المفروض يكون يعني اوضح من كده ميديال ان لاترال يس يس يوزوالي يوزوالي ذا ميديال بوردر يو هاف ا كليفج اوكي بارت اوف ات يو كان سي ات هير بارت اوف ات اوكي بس ويز ويز ذا كيرف اوف ذا سكين يو كان سي انتل ذا كيرف كيرفيتشر اوف ذا سكين سو اوكي اكسبتد ذس از اكسبتد نوت ذا ايديل بس اكسبت But laterally, okay. we are not seeing the cleavage. The cleavage is seen medially due yeah. to the, the area of the cleavage between the two breasts, the valley of the breast. We'll see mm -hmm. that medial cleavage. It's okay. Accept it. What else? Okay. Do you have any other comment? Like how, okay. what is the chest? The checks, the, what are the, uh, yani, the checklist regarding the criteria of evaluation of the CCBO. Uh, the steroid nipple line. So, mm -hmm. huh. How you evaluate? Again, part of if the pectoralis should be involved. Part yes. of the pectoralis should be involved. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. If it is not mm -hmm. involved, we have to repeat it. No, the retroma very fast. Does it? Yeah. Does, uh, could you achieve it in all CCU, the visualization no. of the vitralis? No. 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 Difficult. Uh, Difficult. In, uh, how much, how many percentage you could achieve visualization of the vitralis major muscle in the CCU? What about percentage? Usually it is not. Huh? I'm not sure about the percentage, but it's not that easy to be to be seen. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we can see it, but not always. Mm -hmm. mm. Type. If it, Retro if it is when uh, one centimeter from the, yeah, um, if it is, we measure uh, the posterior lipid line in the MLO, and we measure Excellent. it in the CC, and if it is within one centimeter, it is. A difference, it's acceptable. Excellent, yeah. well done. This is one criteria. Okay, also the steroid nipple line loud. measurement mm. and uh, re re relations between CC and MLO. This is one criteria. What else? What other criteria? Also, the steroid nipple line should uh, dividing uh, upper and lower or inner and outer breast equally. Excellent, well done. Excellent. What does it mean? Yes. That means if I make uh, a line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. I agree. It means what? What does it mean? I can see uh, both medial part and lateral part of the breast. That's okay. You are right. No, no, no further, no further uh, exaggeration or extension to either medial or lateral. It should be uh, half-half. And 
how can I make sure that is half half? What is my reference? I mean, what is the anatomical landmark to make me sure that it is divided into uh, yani, two equal halves? Nipple. 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 So the nipple would be central. Central. Yeah. Excellent. Should be in profile and should be central. Excellent. What else? Yeah, yeah. Pectoralis. You talk about the nipple. The nipple should be should be uh, central and should be in profile. Uh, you we can see the, the to 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 optimize the inclusion of posterior breast tissue either uh, to see the pectoral is major or to measure posterior middle line, any other uh, uh, yani criteria can let me, uh, can make me sure that optimum inclusion of the posterior middle line happen. There is optimum occlusion, uh, optimum inclusion I mean, In this case, in this case, I see the pectoralis. Both sides, you can see the pectoralis. More on the left, but on the right, yeah, I mean, also I can see. There is there is inclusion or not inclusion. Optimum inclusion of posterior breast or no optimum inclusion of posterior breast. The um, memory fat. Memory fat. Um, fat. You can see the end of the parenchyma and you can see the retromemory fat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, uh, regarding an inclusion, retromemory fat or pectoral is major. Otherwise, the posterior nipple line to be within one centimeter. It has to be the nipple perfectly centered and straight and Pointing forward and in profile, no artifact, no uh, good compressions, no skin fold, better yeah, a good separation of densities, good contrast. This is the optimum. Because of that, all these features could be applicable for this case. That is why this is the optimum. Okay, regarding the positions, you, you know that the press is placed between, placed on the image receptor and the compression bundles coming from up like this. You see an X-ray coming from the cranial going vertically from the cranial toward the feet. Okay. And as we mentioned, again, the, the patient should not lean back. They should lean Forward. forward, look for her face, look for her hair, she went back. That is why during compression part of the superior posterior breast, not included in the image. But when she leaned forward, pulling the breast inside, so we ensure that the posterior breast is being included. So these are very important. And here, this is the same case you have seen there. Ferris perform like this, done like this, okay? But they could not see a posterior breast. They repeat it here and they could see the retromomary fat. Look, can you see the difference between the two? Yes. And yes. the retromomary fat called as Chagas back, Chagas versa. Yes, you remember that? This then when they repeat it here, they establish the optimum tissue inclusions. Here, just they might, might be the patient lean backward, as you have seen here. And just they might ask her to lean forward and pull more breast. Just you can see an optimum uh, CC view. And as we mentioned before, the image receptor should not be too low or should be too high. It should be at the level of the breast. Otherwise, it can result in hanging or 
sagging, sagging. of the breast. And the deeper breast might also be cut, might be not be included, the lowermost portion of the breast. So the criteria for training codal, the descriptor for optimum CC positioning criteria according to the SER is that pectoralis muscle visualized in up to 40% previously. But with new skills, okay, position skills, they found it up to 60%, but no more than that. Retromammary fat should appear as dark stripe. Behind that, you should be possible to make sure uh, that posterior press is included. And you expect to see the pectoralis muscles if you did not see it. When the muscles is not included and you could not see the retromammary fat, then you could apply the posterior nipple line, which should be within one centimeter. Medial versus lateral, as Huda said, it should be equalized or should be at least symmetrical, not exaggerating one side. And all quadrants should be uh, included and visualized, especially the retromammary fat should be seen in both medial and lateral. Nipple should be depicted in profile, okay, and should be positioned centrally, not pointing medially or laterally. Okay, so what about the posterior nipple line? The hagis the line, the cone of the one centimeter. So. Yes, we'll discuss it. Okay. We are going to discuss all, everything. Type. Which one is optimum here? A. A is obviously optimum. We could see the retromammary fat till the end in the medial and lateral. Mm -hmm. Okay, nipple central. Here. I could not see the retromammary. Retromammary fat. Okay, fat. And even the nipple is not central. Here, there is missing. The, the lateral and portion. here is obviously, there is missing. No missing. And what about this one? Optimum or not optimum? No. Not optimum. Why? The medial portion is missed. The nipple Excellent. Is missed. Excellent. There is missing, and this missing very subtle, but the artificial intelligence demonstrated. You see here, it highlighted that there is missing here, so we have to see it. Okay. This is my patience. Is it an optimum CC both sides or not? And why? On the left, the nipple is not in the center. What is it? Mm -hmm. Pectoralis. And what is this? Retromammary fat. Uh -huh. So I could see retromammary fat, I could see the pectoralis. But, but the nipple is not in the center, in the left breast. More sagging breast, I Yeah. Yes. Tilting the nipple, laterally. The nipple, the yeah, they they pull both sides, but more on the left side. They mm -hmm. pull more the medial. The best the, medial the lateral. That is mm -hmm. why the pectoral is seen, A not piece. seen centrally. It has to be seen semilunar here, mm -hmm. central. It is seen on the medial aspect, but not visualized on the lateral aspect. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So there is there is there is fault here. Uh -huh. And here it's obviously the nipple the, the nipple within not in, not in profile, out of profile. And what is what about this one? It's pointed medially. The nipple is pointing medially. You cannot see the rest of the uh, the uh, the retromammary fat. Also, the uh, the nipple is not centered. Excellent. The regarding posterior. regarding the nipple, regarding the nipple, it is not adequate. Nipple. Look mm. for the posterior nipple line. Mm. Dividing into one third and two thirds. Two thirds. Inadequate. Parts. Here, 
yeah, here as if it is extended lateral view. Mm -hmm. Yes. So not center. Mm -hmm. And here also. Uh -huh. Also the upper part is small. The other also is not central. Here it is pointing or it is tilted laterally. laterally. In the previous time it tilted medially and here it is tilted laterally. Laterally. Twice an equal portion. If we compare it, it has to be here at the center. Yes. And this is definitely yes, yeah. optimal. Though it is cut, but I could see the retromammary fat both sides. And the nipple is central. So it's accepted. Okay. So when we compare the nipple here, here is being corrected. This is the same patient. Here it is corrected. Here tilted medial. Here tilted laterally. Okay. Here is corrected. When we draw the posterior nipple line from the optimum one, can you see it? Uh, in, yes. In, in B, it is pointing medially. Medial. Point, pointing. Laterally. So it has to be pointing forward it has to be straight it has to be center uh, center and profile and pointing straight what about this case what is the difference here regarding the nipple yes uh, the first the right one uh, the nipple uh, is not in uh, profile it is tilted a bit uh, medially Mm -hmm. uh, dividing uh, the 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 breast into one third and two thirds. Mm -hmm. In the left one, it is pointing somehow. Uh, it's still tilted a bit, but more more centralized. Not, not tilted, not tilted. It is central. More or less, at least at least here it is in profile and pointing forward, straight and forward. Here no. is out of profile. Out of profile. Mm. It's okay. So mm. what is the effect of that? Can you see the effect? Yeah, the lesion. Yes. The the mass. Mass. Mm -hmm. Look here. These two areas, small two areas, are these. Mm -hmm. uh, this one mm. was not seen. seen it. Mm. But when they adjust the nipple, okay, put position the nipple in, in the proper the place, profile. And then pull, could pull the breasts and the More inclusion. Was exposed. Yeah, the, there is inclusion of the posterior, proper inclusion of the posterior breast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is adequate, mm -hmm. adequate. And they could include the posterior breast properly, and there was a cancer. Mm -hmm. That might easily be missed. missed. Okay, mm -hmm. so. When we talk about the nipple, if you look here, if you can see here, even mm. we cannot see it by... It's not appear. It mm. not appear. We cannot see the, the, the nipple. Mm. It is so, rolled. Rolled inferiorly. It is obviously rolling inferiorly. That is why, you see, it is coming Inside. within... within, within the the but when mm. it is adjusted here, you it's see, out. it is coming in profile. Yeah. Though it mm. is flat and tight, it is flat and mm. tight, but it is coming in profile. Mm. So, in obese ladies, this usually occur in obese ladies, or if the patient not comfortable, she's moving like that, then the 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 nipple might move, uh, rolled inferior. Okay, so we have to be careful for us and for the technologies for this. Uh, and we have to make sure from the beginning. Look for the nipple here. Sometimes the nipple itself, it can be retracted pathologically or anatomically can be uh, variant. But mm -hmm. we have to make sure from the beginning. That is why the form, the technology has to fill the form. You see? And to look for if the nipple is there is any variations or abnormality regarding the nipple, she has to comment on. Very important. And even in, in the requests of the clinician, if there is any something anything related to the nipple, he has to 
to avoid falls. Yani he has to write it for us and all these measures to avoid falls. Huh? What about this image? Now, Russ. There you go. Okay. Um, the uh, right one. Uh, mm -hmm. The. Okay, I'm not happy with the left one. Why? Uh, because the um, the nipple is not in profile. Uh -huh. uh, the part of the pectoralis, the pectoralis is not. Uh, well, uh, the, uh, yes, just comment on this. The pectoral, okay. Uh, the medial uh, portion uh, of the, the medial cleavage, are you? Up? Yes. Um, Okay, uh, so but I will add optimum yatha, adequate yatha, inadequate yatha. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Um. If both are not optimum, you can say. If both are optimum, you can say. If one optimum, Which one not optimum. It depends. It is up to uh, you. The, Your impression. The right one is more optimum. Excellent. Uh, uh, the right one is more optimum for me. Uh -huh. uh, the left one, I cannot really commit, my, commit myself. Uh, because I, I gave it to you because you comment before. Maybe. Leave it, leave it. Huda. Mm -hmm. Huda, because you asked before about the cleavage. Okay. And the left uh, breast, I couldn't see the medial cleavage. Uh-huh. Not, Why not you well not... demonstrated because Why? the needle not in profile and not centrally located. Okay, the the, okay, and this is the result of what? Mm -hmm. What is this? Okay, I lost. What is this? What is this? What is this? This is pectoralis. This is pectoralis, and what is this? A skin Implant. fold. Skin fold. There is oh, skin there fold. is okay. fold here, is a man. Skin, skin fold, fold, yes, it is a skin fold. Same fold, fold. you remember? <laughs> uh, now, I answer that that case. Uh, <laughs> now, I think it's very good to the skin fold. Uh, you have to, I, you have to, I missed it. Now, I missed it. 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 I so this is inadequate. This is adequate and this is inadequate due to overlapping tissue. This mm -hmm. is usually for on the abdominal wall. Abdominal wall is coming like that here. Mm -hmm. Huh? Or the other breast, sometimes. The adjacent breast might overlap this one. Huh? Who is going to take this beautiful case? Ma fim tell adjacent press my overlap what? You see when when you yani you image one press mm. you have to to push the other press a little bit on the medial aspect to push it away. Away, okay. To push mm. it away, otherwise mm. it might overlap. Mm. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Especially if she has patient have large. Especially if she has large breasts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what about this one? Adequate. Adequate. The pectoral is so much more Any different? Any different opinion? All. Do you agree that? Are it is optimal. Three yeah. lateral portion after the medial, in the center the nipple. Yani, yeah, you you have to accept minimal. You see, mm -hmm. but not mm -hmm. much. Okay. Okay. The pectoral is the two most important to be close to each other. One is more than the other. Here. What do you want to visualize? You want to see. The posterior uh, mammary line. You want to make sure you have an optimum inclusion <sighs> of the posterior breast. Mm -hmm. And the remain of the breast, no any cut or missing. 
in the other part of the breast, that means the, the whole breast is involved. The posterior, you have three criteria to evaluate for the posterior. If you have seen the pectoralis, central, okay, and the nipple in profile, and central, you will accept it. That means you. this is... That and ensure you have seen the whole posterior breast. If you did not see it, you will go for to see looking for retromammary path. Otherwise, you will go for posterior nipple line. Here, nipple is accepted. Yes, it's accepted to be central. And you have seen till the pectoral, and even the pectoral is well built pectoralis muscle. Mm -hmm. So, and her parenchyma, even here, just this retro areola, she has type SCR2 pressed. So, and she has intramammary lymph nodes here. But this is an optimum, really optimum. Optimum pressed inclusion is excellent in this case. An ideal CCBO considered. Okay, uh -huh. what about this one? The left one is suboptimal or... Why? Because uh, the, the medial is smaller than the lateral part. Uh, my question, is it optimum breast tissue occlusion? One question. Yeah, I'm yes. not talking... Uh -huh. Is yes, it optimum, optimum or not? Yeah, huh? optimum. Yeah. optimum. Why, why it is optimum? Because we have three criteria. Why it is optimum? This this case, you said optimum because we you could see the pectoralis both sides. We is well aligned yeah. with the belt. Okay. So we said we have three criteria to evaluate for the CCBO inclusions. Uh, after after evaluation of the nipple, you have three to talk about the inclusion of the breast. Visual, visualization of the pectoralis, depiction of retromammary fat, or measurement of posterior nipple line. So here, visualization of pectoralis. Missing. Okay. No. Yeah. Depiction of the retromammary fat. It is available. Available, yeah. Yeah. So here it is optimum because we can see optimum, yeah. till the optimum. end of the parenchyma, both sides, medial and mm -hmm. lateral, medial and lateral. Sufficient I visualization. Fat, even at the periphery. So yes. the mm -hmm. is very clear and the nipple are more or less central. So it is central. an optimum. Optimum, mm, yes. optimum because mm -hmm. we could depict depictions of the retromammary fat. We said we have visualization of pectoralis, which is not consistently achievable. Mm. Uh, measurement of posterior line or depiction. In this case, we have depiction. And always we have to respect the proper position of the nipple. It is an ideal. Okay. What about this? This is my patient. Also, uh, it's not optimal. Yeah, yeah the, the inferior part and immediate part. Immediate, yeah. immediate. Who said adequate? Inadequate. 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 Who said inadequate? Inadequate. 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 Like in a nipple, not on prof. But it is accepted. Yeah, accepted. Yes. But the medial portion is not accurate. Not well but, demonstrated. But, but I agree with you. I agree with you. But the pectoral is visualized, and you can see far distance mm -hmm. from the end of the breast tissue and the chest wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. He thought not the pectoral about the. In these cases, just you will see the the medullolateral oblique, and you can you can even you can check with posterior nipple line is accepted. Just pass it. في سكين فول داي صغيرونه بما عشان ما نمش نمش خليها. This one ها. وين كل وين؟ Okay. And this okay. in this case. 
ده ديكويت ديكويت فيري ديكويت Excellent. Though you have seen the pectoralis, mm -hmm. but nipple definitely, and nipple are not central, and mm -hmm. you have the seen the pectoralis is more medial, and mm -hmm. uh, you cannot, we are not sure if the, mm -hmm. Let's remember if not, yeah. the posterior, and yourself, you can judge. You can judge Laterally yourself. Laterally, we can see the lateral. Laterally, we cannot say, is mm -hmm. it yani, optimum posterior inclusion or not? Mm -hmm. What we can do in this okay. case? Uh, extended lateral. Extended so lateral. No, no, no. How to make sure the uh, remain? Put the nipple, put the nipple many, in profile. Yeah, it is accepted or not accepted. Excuse me? I'm going to ask How can I make sure? Mm -hmm. How can I evaluate it? My here, I cannot, the pectoral is not optimum. Not uh, I consider it not seen. And the uh, posterior and, and the retromammary fat not applicable. So in this case, I will go for posterior nipple line. If it is within one Com centimeter, I comparable will with the MLO. I, I will pass it. If it is more than mm -hmm. that, I will repeat. Mm -hmm. I Even I couldn't see a retromammary fat, Dr. Rabah. Huh? Hatta lo ma shay fa retromammary fat. ممكن اعتبرها ما انا اذا ما شايفه الريترو اذا ما شايفه الريترو ما مريحه حجيس حجيس في الحاله دي انا يعني اي هاف تو ميجر ويذ بوستيريور نيبل لاين اوكي 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 الحته دي انا الحته دي انا ما فاهمه يا بص معلش هي حكايه الميجر بالبوستيريور نيبل لاين احنا ماشيين وي ار جوينج تو ديسكاس ات اوكي اف اف ذا بريست از كومبليتلي فاتي How to evaluate it? And I could not see the vectoralis muscle. How can I? I posterior nipple line. Yeah, here I will go for posterior nipple line. Okay, so this is. Can you tell me in this case? Oh, okay. The posterior, the posterior nipple line. Tell me. The posterior. This is the view. Uh, we measured the posterior nipple line and then we compared the, in both uh, views, CC and MLO. No, no, uh, tell me this and I give you measurement, right okay. and left. Which one is optimum, which one is not optimum? The left is optimum, the right is not uh -huh. optimum. Excellent. Yes. The right, but mm -hmm. even if you look here, expected to be optimum, mm -hmm. you can see even yeah. the pectoralis. Yes. Mm -hmm. when I but, could not uh, see the pectoralis, I'm not even sure. Even the measurement is... But it is more not than one centimeter difference. Yes, one point three. Uh, yeah. uh, this case, uh, uh, you ask me mm. if you have glandular. In this case, I have glandular breast. I could not see mm. the end of the gland. I could mm. not see the retroma. I could not depict the retroma mari fat. Mm. I could not see mm. the pectoralis. I have to make sure is it adequate. Or just to repeat it like that. I will make sure before going to repeat. Is it, I, if it is within one centimeter from the MLO, I'm not going to repeat it. That means it is accepted. Hmm. Otherwise, okay. I will. So what about this case? The difference is 1.2 centimeter. Accepted. Now, Russ. 1.2 centimeter. This is the CC. Posterior nipple line is 15. Point four and uh, on MLO is sixteen point two. Yes, eight Dif millimeter. Mm. Difference is eight. eight. So eight. within that so matching. Okay, okay. so mm. it is match in posterior nipple line distance. No mm. need for repetitions. This mm. is accepted. This is adequate. So okay. this is an adequate CC view. Okay. Huh? What about this one? This is more than uh, more than uh, one centimeter. Mm. So I'll go for it. Uh -huh. 
I will repeat the view. Which one? The CC. Uh, CC. Yes, you will repeat the CC view. Now yeah. you understand it? Yes, I yeah. do. <coughs> this is mismatch. Mm. It is mismatch in posture and every line I'm going to repeat. Mm -hmm. so, Dr. Rabab, I just ask Yes? Uh, line يعني أنا ممكن أرسمه بطريقة uh, مختلفة Okay, there are variations but, but, but mm. yes, there are variations but let us see, we are going to, to, to Okay طيب, قلنا it is recommended not to be greater than one here, can you see? Look for mm. the next Look for the axis from the axis of the nipple and go posteriorly. From, from the skin nipple junction, you see? Skin nipple junction, consider the axis of the nipple. You look here, the nipple, a nipple in profile, and from the center and go along the axis of the nipple. Okay? And look if it is much and but we have fairies to have an optimum MLO to take it as a reference. Mm. See mm -hmm. the descriptor, we are going to describe it more in details, okay, to understand the descriptor for the posterior line is to draw a line in the CC view. From the junction of the nipple and the skin, a straight line going posteriorly to the end of the image, regardless if there is pectoralis or there is no pectoralis. Mm -hmm. Just go to the end of the image. Okay. You have the pectoralis, you will go to the end of the pectoralis. You have no pectoralis, go to the end of the image on the CC view and measure it. Put the measurement. And again, on MLO, from the skin nipple line, along the axis of the nipple, go back to the pectoralis, okay? And measure it. And then compare the depths between the two, as we have done. If, oh, it, is, if it is within one centimeter, that means the CC view, it's adequate. Mm -hmm. If it is not, it is not adequate. Mm -hmm. And they said that if you have seen, uh, if uh, breast has been adequately positioned for the MLO, uh, the posterior mm -hmm. nipple line should reach the tip of vectoralis muscle in 80% of the cases. If the MLO mm -hmm. is adequate. So for posterior nibble line, uh, we have to have an optimum MLO. Okay? Uh, in the absence of the pectoralis to nibble line on MLO, that means it will result in uncertainty. And this is, can be a common fault. Yeah, and I just like to say that it has to be an optimal MLO. Yes, no, you can do it. I'll tell you something. You can do it both, but to have a certain result, you have to have an optimal MLO. Sometimes it can be used as a reverse to evaluate the MLO from a CC. Oh, okay. We have in our practice, we have sometimes... The MLO is suboptimal and CC can be an optimum and can be a reference. And we use mm -hmm. the, the posterior nipple line uh, uh, yeah, the device to yes. evaluate the MLO. Mm -hmm. A reference is CC because okay. we get we can get an optimum CC. Optimum mm -hmm. CC. Mm -hmm. We can see we can see the nipple central in profile, see the pectoralis. And then we could measure an optimum posterior nipple line, but we could not get an optimum pectoralis on MLO. Then mm -hmm. we can measure the CC and we can find the MLO is less than the uh, posterior nipple line of the pectoralis. And then we will go to repeat the, that. See? Mm -hmm. 
And here, the one centimeter measurements, it will be to the back of the image. Mm -hmm. In this case, you will go to the back of the image. Here, it doesn't meet the vectorals. It's just it will go to the back of the image. Mm -hmm. You will not measure it like that. You will not draw it in that way because it will not be the axis of the nipple. You will not go just to meet the pectoralis. You will go along the axis of the nipple. If it meets the pectoralis, it's good. If it doesn't meet the pectoralis, we described earlier, we said it's, it's supposed to transect the pectoralis in perpendicular line. Mm. This is the optimum one. Mm -hmm. like, and if it is not, uh, if we have not adequate uh, vectoralis major on MLO, so we'll go just to the back of the image, but we will not be certain that this is yani, a, a, a real or a good reference. We cannot consider it. Uh, we cannot confirm the presence of posterior tissue inclusion in the CC view in reference or in referral to uh to 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 MLO or in reference so, to M so if the MLO um the posterior nipple line in the MLO uh, is below that of the CC view I'm going to repeat it yes yes uh it is it is it has limited value it will be mm -hmm. of a limited value it will not confirm Mm -hmm. We cannot depend on the posterior nipple line in the evaluation of the CC view if it is ambiguous, if it is not clear. If mm -hmm. really we need to repeat, to, to do uh, or to evaluate the, the CC view, we are not like the previous cases, but the MLO is not an optimum, we cannot use it. Okay. It is not applicable in this case, or it is not useful. <coughs> We cannot guarantee that there is really uh, uh, any good or optimum tissue, posterior tissue inclusions. Okay. Last, and as I told you, there might be tissue, posterior tissue inclusion on the CC view exceed the MLO. And I had, I had in my experience, some of the cases, uh, we found that we have uh, yani, at the CC optimum and the posterior nipple line on CC exceed the MLO and we repeat the MLO and became optimum. Mm. But another, another, yani, another criteria, important criteria we have to consider is the nipple, it has to be in profile in both. If the nipple is not in profile, also we will not consider it an opt yani, ab ab uh, yani applicable posterior for nipple. Comparison. For, for comparison. We cannot rely on it. It, it has to be post nipple, you see, in profile. Mm -hmm. And pectoralis, uh, yani adequate oh. pectoralis muscle. I have mm -hmm. to have adequate pectoralis muscle and nipple in profile. Then when I measure it and within one centimeter, then I will say this is an optimum CC view. Otherwise, it's not applicable for evaluation of the CC view. Unless I have an optimum CC view and I am in doubt about the MLO, I can use it to evaluate the MLO view in this case. Here, if the nipple profile, opti uh, yani optimum nipple, optimum CC, nipple central profile pointing straight forward, I could see central pectoralis muscles. I could measure, uh, yani confidently measure the posterior nipple line, then I can use it as a reference for to, to measure the, uh, to match with, with, uh, with that one or to, uh, re uh, refer it to the other one and if there is mismatch in this mm -hmm. case then I will consider the MLO is not optimum and I will repeat it okay okay mm -hmm. okay so the most common positioning error on CC nibble not in profile nibble position not central lateral or medial poor visualization of posterior tissue 
poor visualization of superior tissue and inadequate amount of pectoralis muscle on image, excessive exaggeration on the CC view lateral or medial skin fold. Okay, this is my case. Can you tell me, uh, is it optimum CC or not? Not. Not optimum. Are you sure? No, so we have stage one criteria. You cannot yeah. tell it is not yeah. optimal. Okay, the, the yeah, I posterior nipple line. line. You will tell me. Yeah. Yes, I cannot say is it optimum or not. Okay. If I could see okay. the retromammary fat both sides, I will mm. say optimum. If I could see the pectoralis, because the nipple is central and in profile. If I could see the pectoralis, I would say optimum. If I could see the chassis fossa, I would say optimum. But in this case, I cannot guarantee is it an optimum or not. I need to do the posterior. I had done the posterior nipple line and the, it was mismatch. So I have to repeat the CC. And I did. And okay. that was the result. Hmm. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. It this was me. Is uh, mine. Uh, this it is my case. Uh, you see, she has cancer uh, discovered after we repeat the the CC view. Uh, يا بوس معلش سؤال السي سي فيو اذا انا شايفه النيبل ان بروفايل وشايفه البكتوراليس خلاص ولا برضه هاخد هاخد لاني انا ما شايفه نهايه الريتروماماري فات لاين most of the time if you have seen the pectoralis you will see most of the time you see the end of the parenchyma but if you did not see the end of the parenchyma and the nipple is really central Mm. Most likely, if you draw the posterior nipple line, you will find it match. Okay. Very unlikely. يعني أعمله في كل الأحوال. ما. If if you are in doubt, why not to give the patient benefit of doubt? Yes, that's right. If you have optimum MLO and mm. you are in doubt in the CC view, do it. Okay. Huh? What about this one? Beautiful, adequate, <laughs> very accepted. adequate. Uh, not accepted. Mm -hmm. This is an optimum. optimum you see, yeah. you can see, you can see till the end of the brain. Cassians, retromammary mm -hmm. fat, both sides, medial mm -hmm. lateral, and the uh, profile in profile mm -hmm. and more or less central. So this mm -hmm. is an optimum. Optimum due to. Depiction of the erythromammary fat. Okay, what about this? Both nipples are not in profile. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, no, I, the, I cannot... this, the, the nipple, this one is here, and this one is here. not clear, they are in profile. No. Okay, I cannot see the, the pectoralis, and I cannot... Uh, see uh, the end of the uh, retromammary fat, I would go for the posterior nipple line and compare it to the MLO. Any other opinion? The left side. What about the left side? Uh, the lateral retromammary form the retromammary uh, cannot be seen. Posterior, the fat, uh, lateral retromammary side fat, the, uh, the lateral, lateral side. Maktour. What? The lateral uh, side, maktour, aslan. The left. There is missing part of the mm. breast. The so yeah. I will apply posterior nipple line on the right, but I will repeat the left because there is missing. The left image. Okay. Yeah, it is not optimum due to missing lateral breast on the left side. How what about this one? Hello. <laughs> optimum. 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 Agree, mm -hmm. 100% optimum. Yeah. That yes. is optimum. Uh, mm -hmm. yani we can see a part of the pectoralis. So it is medial, but on mm -hmm. the lateral aspect, I could see the retromammary. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can depict the retroma marifat. So there are, you can go through these positioning dilemmas on the CC view. Uh, you can go through it when you are free. Can you check for this one? Huh? Optimum or not optimum? Quickly. Optimum. The CCs are optimum. Excellent. Optimum. Well done. CCs. Which which one is CCs? The fog. The above are, are CCs and are optimum. Excellent. Mm. Why are optimum, Noras? I can see the nipples uh, bilaterally in pro profile. I can see both pectoralis muscles. I can uh, appreciate. Yeah, I can see both pectoralis muscles considering mm. both nipples in profile and central. Mm. Pointing mm. forward is great. Mm. So those are optimum. What mm. about the uh, lower? Uh, the lower are MLOs. Uh, the left one, uh, the nipple is not in profile. Okay. Uh, but 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 but, but the... usually in mammography, if mm. you have seen in one view nipple mm. in profile, the other one, you, you will not repeat the image because you nipple is not in profile. Okay, so the, see, the right MLO seen is, it at least hmm? it is important to see it at least in one view. Okay, the right uh, we, we, MLO. You are going to ignore the nipple here, okay. and even you have nipple marker, hmm. and so obviously that is uh -huh. The right MLO is uh, inadequate because the uh, the border of the pectoralis is not. Uh, the, uh, left is the left the is left? adequate. The left is adequate. The left, um, I can, no, uh, it is uh, the pectoralis also. The uh, pectoralis, both, pectoralis both sides the look both the sides same. Are, yeah. It looks like the pectoralis we have seen in? The CC. It's like pectoralis seen in the extended lateral view. Mm. As if it, you are, they have done an extended uh, lateral view. Similunar, rather similunar, than yeah. So, yeah. so, if we... If, uh, yeah, regarding the length of pectoralis, the only thing adequate is the length. Mm. The angle or is the not. height. And the, and the... the width is not. Well, it's not also. It's supposed to be wide in the in the axilla. Mm. The, the, yeah. the shape is accepted, are convex. The length yeah. and shape are accepted. Yeah. Uh, طيب ينفع هنا ينفع هنا uh, uh, انا هعيدها في كل الاحوال صح؟ الاملو Yes. Well, yes. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. Okay. And even you have big fold, skin fold here. Mm. And even here. Mm. You see, this, this is for repeat. Mm. 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 No, no, here, here, yes, we will go for, for repeat. Since you, the pectoral is, is, yeah, I mean, it looks like this, uh, we have to repeat. Mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. but you can do a trial, you can do a trial, and you can check for the posterior nipple line. But it is not. Yani usually, unless you have seen adequate pectoralis or near adequate pectoralis, is not accepted, especially if it is narrow. This is narrow pectoralis. Okay. It's not mm -hmm. accepted. And the angles, probably less than 10. We are not sure, but probably less than 10. Angle per se, if the angle is less than 10, most likely you have exclusions of breast tissue. If it is narrow, it's also the same. If it is short, any of the criteria, if it is not fulfilled, might affect the inclusion of the breast tissue. You have seen when you we saw that it is optimum and still there was missing of posterior breast tissue and, and cancer. How what about this? This is also my patient. Huh? I thought you will just say like that. You will give okay. it to pass or just come and repeat. Recall. Skillful. So, 
not not much, not very big. It's not acceptable. Uh, acceptable. Yeah, I can see. It's fast. Little... You are not going to recall. Yeah. I can see uh, the nipples in profile bilaterally, pectoralis. Uh, profile central, and uh, we can see the, the pectoralis, and we can see even the retromammary fat, the retromammary mm -hmm. fat medial and lateral. Mm. Ah, what about yeah. this case? <laughs> mismatch. Mismatch. Mm -hmm. A big mismatch, and you mm -hmm. can see this is cancer. Mm. See, this is mm. cancer. This is also my patients. This is cancer. You see, seen on MLO, but could not be appreciated. So here, we could not, you can see, also one tip. If you have seen the posterior end of the parenchyma, very narrow, goes toward narrowing. Let me show it you where... Start to become narrow, like here, for example. Like here, start at the end, it get taper, it become narrow. Mm. You have seen it become narrow, then you will be relaxed, a little bit relaxed. But when you mm. have seen it very wide, it ends in mm. this abundant, thick parenchyma. So expected to have a still posterior much more parenchyma more than one centimeter. So you will not be relaxed in this case. Without measuring the posterior nipple line, you will not be relaxed to, uh, to there is mismatch here. Huh? What about this one? Is it optimum or not? Optimum. Optimum, excellent. I thought you sleep, so here. No, I'm hearing the discussion. <laughs> okay, what about this? Not optimum. Op yes, not optimum. Not optimum. Uh huh. Inframum report not seen. Uh -huh. The skin is. Also, over exposure of the of over uh -huh. exposure of the breast tissue. Also, nipple is not in profile. Uh -huh. La pectoral is muscle high. Why it is bright? Why why it is bright? Why over exposure? Over exposure. Is it over or under? Under exposure. You cannot. It is not related to exposure. If you overlap. It is malposition when issue, but there is something else apart from malposition. Overlap. Overlap of what? This is related Overlap. to what? Compression. Mm. Can you differentiate the between the tissue, nipple, and fat, and these things? Lack of huh? compression. Mm -hmm. Ma, no, I Lack don't think compression. It is lack of poor contrast. Malpositioned and poor contrast. You have no contrast. You have seen that the fat is white and parenchyma is white and the skin is black and Something, I mean, not, it's okay. So what about this one? What is the fault here? Inferior memory line, the, 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 the Malposition, the one issue. There is malposition is one issue. What yeah. else? Apart from malposition. Missing focus, the contrast. Rest. Poor contrast also. Uh -huh. More yeah. than poor contrast. Or exposure. What about, uh -huh. Compression also. Uh huh. Why? Result in what? If you look more carefully. Because, be, because look. You, mm -hmm. see, you see the condensed uh, parenchyma through areolar. Okay. What else? As if you have seen the lines double. 
في You see it as if it is double or something like that. You see? Okay. Yani, the image is not Hard. sharp. Mm. It's not sharp, hazy. Yes. Yeah. That, that is why. Okay. okay. Here. This is craniocodal view. Inadequate view to inadequate CC view. Yes. Because remember fat is also not not a depicted. Nibel is a central and in profile. So here I'm sure but you have to see but you have to see the middle. I'm sure you are sleeping. No. Because you have No, I'm not sleeping. Could you call it inadequate? Could you call it inadequate? Type. Why it is not inadequate? If you did not depict the retromammary fat, that means this is inadequate? fatty breast. You have to see the medulateral oblique and see the posterior nibble line because yes, if you have, fatty yeah, but you, but okay, before going to MLO, is it is it an optimum image or not an optimum image? For me, not optimum image, inadequate Why? image. Why? Because posterior part of the breast not the best, not the best. The posterior part of the breast. Any you medial could, lateral. That's why I said sleeping. to you, you are sleeping. Because Sleep. the first time you could not defend yourself. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not familiar. Not I'm not familiar with you that you could not defend yourself. That is why. I assume that you are sleeping. No, I'm not sleeping with you. Uh -huh. uh, from the start, I tell you this is inadequate. Uh, can you call it? But, but yeah, yeah, but you could not explain why it is not adequate. I tell you, first, the posterior part of the breast is not uh, middle and lateral, not included. This is the first. Also, I have to see the bilateral oblique view. And see the posterior nipple line. Okay. Okay. I I will go back to tell you something. If it is a CC view and fatty breast, you cannot you have, say you cannot say you have to see the, the, the medulateral you, oblique how you the can, posterior nipple line on, if it is on, more on what base on what base you said the medial and lateral are not included. For me, for me, if you see adequate, yeah, if in a fee, fee, fee tissue, mafia, yeah, then a shy fell a concave. It is a fatty press. In a fatty press, okay, I'll tell you something. In a fatty press, you cannot tell on a CC view, you cannot tell. Okay, if it is adequate, CC until view, you see the oh. MLO, until you see the MLO. Uh, yeah, but, but you told, you, you describe it as a non optimal. From the beginning, non-optimal, and you said I could not see the posterior, but this is the point I could not accept it. You got my point? Yes, yes. If you It's told not... me, if you told me this is this is a CCVU, okay, and because it is a fatty press, I need to evaluate for optimum inclusion of the posterior breast tissue by doing posterior nipple line. This, I'll accept it. But I'm asking regarding diagnostic quality. Tell me, is it an optimum or not? Any fault in this image? No fault? Nibble is not central. It's not central. Not central. Nibble. The nipple yeah. is not central. This is exaggerated. Mm -hmm. 
Look, standard ladder. Yes, it is standard ladder. Look, only, only one third medial and two third ladder, or even more. Look for the nipple. This is one. What else? What is this? Skin fold. Skin fold. And there is a skin fold. So there is a skin fold and it is exaggeration. There is exaggeration. We said one of the common errors on the CC view, either exaggeration medially or exaggeration laterally. But this is one of the faults. How, what about this one? If you are not sleeping, so here, show me what is wrong in this image. This is mediolateral oblique. Mm -hmm. uh, Where I is the fault? The, the, sk the skin, not the, not the biscuit also. No, it is there. I could see it, the skin. All the skin? Yeah, throughout the skin. I could see it. Yalla, me, go throughout the image. Check. I'm sure if you are not sleeping, you will pick uh, the wrong or the error like that. Sure. Uh, the pectoralis is convex and the, the lower edge. Uh, I'm not seeing the, the nipple also. Okay, this is a nipple. Nipple. That is a nipple. Okay, the uh, the upper edge, the lower edge is above the posterior Not nipple. above. I just it is at, at the, at the, at the nipple, posterior no nipple problem. line. The posterior uh -huh. nipple line. Uh, it's, uh, it's adequate, al, al pectoralis. Pectoralis is adequate. Uh, if he's a uh, skin. Skin thickening or skin fold are the upper. Yani, the patient did jaya kida gidan fi juzu min al the chest wall. Ah ha, ah ha. Excellent. Uh, mm, there is one. Where? At the lateral part of the breast. More superior. More superior. Superior. This superior. one. Superior lateral. This is part of the chest wall. Excellent. This is not the chest wall, but this is our chin. Chin, oh. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. so there is superimposed organs. This is her chin, mm -hmm. in fact, coming here, okay? Mm -hmm. yes. Now you are not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. I, I order my, I try to do my work, and I listen, I listen, I listen from the Okay, okay. I was going to steal the force, but I was going to Okay, okay, okay. Okay, huh? Which one is fairest? Huda, what do you think? Which one is, is fairest? The one on the right one. or one on the left? And one? one on the right. One on the right. Why? Which one is fairest? Um. Which one is the repeat? The repeated one is in the left because inframemory fold not well demonstrated in the right image. Uh huh. A deer well in the second. You mean, which yeah. one? One minute. This is which one? This is right or left? Uh, this or is you... right. Right image. This is right. And this is? Left. So which one is fairest? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Because inframemory fold not well demonstrated in the right image. What and else? Abir will, uh, also the nipple not uh, not in profile. Here, is it, uh, yes. Uh, not central. Uh, the nipple, yeah, the nipple uh, tilted. Now tilted. here, it, uh, much more appear, yeah, mm. pointing forward straight. But here, it might be tilted to one side. That is why we have seen it, but not very clear. Uh, mm. Why? What else? Mm. What do you think? Bardo fi aindi skin fold. Skin fold bardo aindi fil axilla. Skin fold fil first image. Okay. What else? So. Mm. 
في بور كونتراست وفي في بور كومبريشن اكسلنت سهير ذا فيرست وان مال بوزيشن ريزالتينج ان امبروبر كومبريشن اند ذن ويل بوزيشن بروبر كومبريشن بود ريزولوشن لوك فور ذا برينكيم هير how it is spread away here and look for this look for this here you see how it, do, it is spread away and look for the skin how it is sharp now look for the margin of the vectoralis look for the lymph node here now can you see here you can see even the fatty hilum okay yeah, yeah. And proper positioning by the visualization of the nipple as well as the inframammary fault and that is okay uh, and because now the fibers well delineations look even for the vessels you see you can see you can mm -hmm. depict the parenchyma and the skin and the resolution as well as contrast now become very sharp and very clear so the problem is related malposition and improper positioning results in inadequate compression. compression. When corrected, everything becomes nice. Uh, and here, this is very clear. And the exposure. Huh? And the exposure. Oh, you are not sleeping. I got it. You are not sleeping. Another suggestion? <laughs> Over exposure. Yeah. Over exposure. Over. <laughs> Black. <laughs> ah, swear. Aswat shadid, ya doctor. Aswat shadid. Da ma'na. Over. Over. Da l'abiyat shadid al over. La. Over. Okay. She, okay, she okay. read. Uh, she got it when we the first Emmy. She's the one who said that is overexposure. Yes, yes, <laughs> now, yes. Because, now because she becomes sleepy, uh, she get confused. No, <laughs> no problem. What about this? You are not sleepy. Ah, huh? blaring. No, no. This is a lateral part of the brain. Missing, really. missing of the sub of the lateral press upper uh, yeah. Yeah, upper part of the press is not covered. Okay, what about this one? دي صورة شفناها أول حاجة كان صح؟ No. Another patient. طيب ال. Compression. Compression هنا دكتور رباط. Hmm. Compression. Uh huh. On the on the left side is poor compression. On the on the right side is a well compression. Compression هنا زاد ال contrast. This is nipple, I think, malpositioning of the nipple. Inadequate bowling yes. of the breast. Yes. Any matter I show for the medium. Malposition, malposition affecting, mm, affecting the contrast. Contrast, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, affecting, uh, yes, affecting the compression and contrast. But generally, just the nipple will get corrected. But not much, yani. The other effect is not much. It's only the nipple. Mm -hmm. huh? And here, they make magnification. There is something here, make magnification artifact. here. Huh? Artifact. Artifact. Which type of artifact is here? Motion artifact. No, this artifact. is not a motion artifact. Look, this is an artifact. That is the one. This is related to what? You don't remember it? Hair artifact. No, this is not a hair. Loosened line. 
يا يا يعني يا 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 It looks like that. And it is standing here. This is related to fulfilled digital mammography artifact to the machine itself. Okay, this is one of the fulfilled digital. Okay, mm. who's going to take this one? What is this? Just try to imagine. Fatma Bakhit, are you with us? Daima, Naima. Sergei Kalhaja Khatinaha. I thought you are not here. <laughs> no, I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. Okay, what do you think? This represent what? First of all, which which part of the image fall? We consider it in which group, subgroup? Artifact, artifact. Artifacts, but which type mm. of artifact? Last, we are about to end the lecture. The inferior part of the breast and lower part of the breast. Okay, the crown part of the. Ah. The closes with the patient. This is something within within the breast. Previous, يعني مثلاً. Uh huh. Surgery biopsy. Good suggestion. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very thick, very thick suture like this. Did you see it before? It looks amazing. Huh? Did you see a big suture like this? This is really interesting. Is is this it baby, is it uh, uh, is it a, a surgical clip from an open heart uh, open uh, heart surgery? Because it's in towards the medial side. Excellent, good suggestion. But it is not it is not no? it is not a surgical. It is something more than that. This lady, uh, she has um, she has increased intracranial pressure. دي معناها ان بوزيشن للتيوب دي مال بوزيشن لا خرب اي بي بي شنط دي 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 شنط Yes, this is a broken. Look. Can you see? You see, mm. that is a broken. And they change. Broken VV shunt. Mm. Mm. Interesting, huh? Interesting, huh? Interesting, huh? Interesting, huh? Interesting, in the breast. It's coming in the medial aspect of the breast. You can see it here in the ML1. You can see it here on the CC view post. Mm -hmm. You see here? Yeah, that is the one. Within, and they change. They change to the other side, maybe. That one is broken. A broken right ventricular Shunt catheter intact left one. Mm, I don't know. Can you see it? 
Yes. Okay, just to revise the posterior nipple line. Is it match or mismatch? This type of the breast usually will go for posterior nipple line. Glandular mm. could not see the posterior portions, mm -hmm. but could see the erythromamary fat. You could not depict erythromamary fat or pectoralis. So just go for measurement. Go for measurement. You see? And yeah. even this one, this one, in this case, I consider it is not an optimum. I suspect the other, the MLO, the even might be, though it is, yeah, is match, but I suspect this one because I could not see retromamary fat, I could still see parenchyma, a lot of parenchyma yeah. projecting here. I could not see the end of the pectoralis. Okay? Mm -hmm. And it seemed to be a little bit higher than the posterior nipple line. Okay. And uh, the, infra, the, the posterior inferior breast is cut and no inframammary fold. So from the beginning, though it looks much, but it has to be repeat. The, the, is it much? Mm, it is much. Uh? Now 1.3, Farid. Ah uh, yes, it is mismatch. Uh, though it is, though it is, it, though it is mismatch, that means not optimum uh, CC. But also the MLO is not optimum. Not optimum. Uh, here, this is an accepted. To some extent, is accepted. To some extent, but still mm. we have to see the inframammary. Okay. Regarding the pectoralis, we can pass it, but we need to see the inframammary fault. To make sure that to say this is here. And here the difference is seven. Is is much, so mm -hmm. uh, yeah, less than one centimeter. Posterior even line in all. And how can you do it accordingly? And how you know how? Oh, interior, most, most uh, interior part of the pluralis or what? Okay, I, I will revise. Let us finish this. Uh, and at the end, I will go to the, uh, to the previous slides. I'll show it to you. Okay, just tell me what is wrong here. In the with me, uh, medulateral oblique view. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is the, wrong the here? Is muscle, the lower and edge. what is wrong here? And what is wrong here? And what is wrong here? And what is wrong here? If we start from F, inframammary fault, from not seen. E, part the, the, missing of the, the inferior breath. Here, the pectoral, lower the, end of pectoral. It's not seen. Above, um, above the posterior nipple line. Here, the border of pectoralis not visualized. Here, deficient pectoralis at all. Very deficient. Okay? Yani, inadequate pectoralis muscle. And here, the nipple, I don't know. That point, nipple is not profile, not in profile, out of profile. Pectoral is not seen, edge of the pectoral is not, lower edge of the pectoral is above, and inadequate covering of lower and inframammary fold. So the mammographic criteria, clinical image quality criteria, it has to include complete breast, must be image in a single exposure in each and to optimize would you please close your mic okay uh uh Optimized positioning will enhance the M quality and it also places pectoralis, muscle, and nibble at the same levels. Okay. Ensure uh, optimal amount of breast tissue inclusions 
and adequate exposure, high contrast, high resolution, proper compressions, appropriate exposure factors for press of different thickness are selected uh, by automatically set control panel and the nipple profile require uh, at least in one view, not always possible uh, to be uh, placed or to be seen in the two the two views any press tissue missing is considered an automatic failure any missing you have to repeat you see whenever this is a small or large you have to repeat supplementary views sometimes are taken whenever required and digital image must be closed through size as possible, both screen film and digital must be labeled with MQSA required identification information. Interpreting physician must review and approve the clinical image submitted. And there should be a procedure in place to follow uh, when image do not meet established clinical standard and the quality of the Mammogram should be assessed and if not optimal, repeat the examination uh, may be ordered and mammogram of right and left breast are placed back to back and should be a more uh, mirror image uh, for comparable projections. And the clinical image quality criteria for assessing the correct breast positioning had been initially arrived from the Mammography Quality Standard Act published by the American College of Radiology, the ACR, okay? And then followed by other system in UK and European and so forth. And here you can go through these systems, okay? When you have time and just uh, I don't know. This is my stack for the day. Regarding, regardless, regardless of the experience of expertise technologies, a perfect mammography, hundred percent, cannot achieved all of the time. And a certain percentage of errors can occur. So just we can judge, is it accepted mammogram or not accepted mammography? And this is all the list should be revised by the technologist before uh, sending the image to the radiologist. Okay, the goal of mammographic positioning is to bring the breast back to its natural anatomic position with the nipple perpendicular to the chest wall on both standard views at the level of the pectoralis and to maximize visualization of breast tissue as well as to avoid superimposition of structures. As you know, positioning is the single most important key factor in optimizing mammographic image quality. As we said before, it is at the top of the pyramids. Okay, variability in positioning, mammographic positioning can have an even greater effect than it has on the other imaging examination. The maximum effect, minimal error, as you have seen, can result in a disastrous effect. And incorrect positioning can result in insufficient compression and inadequate demonstration of breast tissue, as well as presence of parenchymal distortion and artifact, as well as might result in large missing of breast tissue and ended by missing of breast cancer 
an incorrect position also can result in poor quality image. And all of these factors will impact in diagnosis resulting in inconclusive examination. Then reduces sensitivity of mammography and result in missing of breast cancer irrelevant to the skill of the interpreter, irrelevant of the skill and yani, experience of the radiologist. And as you know, among women 40 or more, they recommend or they, they found that mammography screening, mammography reduce the death from breast cancer by more than 50%. And therefore, they recommend screening mammography starting at that age, 40 years, for average, uh, average risk woman because it is a life saving and so high quality image is really important and highly motivated technologists who consistently seek to improve its quality uh, and the radiologist must insist on well positioned proper mammography and remind the <clears throat> radiographer generally why they are using this criteria and work continuously with and add support <clears throat> to a dedicated radiologist, add support the dedicated radiologist, try to obtain the best image for every patient, best image for every patient. And we can conclude that early detection of breast cancer, again, depend on high ME quality. Positioning, most important affecting, as we mentioned, and the US Food and Drug Administration has issued a statement citing, poor mammography positioning is the main cause of most clinical ME deficiency and most mis- diagnosis. High quality imaging positioning require a, a dedicated radiographer and each mammogram must first be reviewed by the specialized radiologist before reading for any abnormality to check for the quality control and uh, preferred <clears throat> uh, and revising this imaging and improving the quality definitely will reduce uh, the recall. And to avoid these falses, radiologists must insist on well-positioned proper exposure mammogram and work continuously and support dedicated technologists for that and require highly motivated technologists who recognize the importance of their work consistently to improve the quality and thank you very much for your patient. I hope it was useful. Shukran ya doctor, yadik al khair, doctor Arba, barakallah fiki wa fatiha alayki. Wa fiki. Very useful, wallahi. Tab alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Very useful, wallahi, alayk za khair. Wa iza. I mean, yeah, the Arab, the Zakalah, 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 the Z